What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Tonight, today, this afternoon, we are going to go and beat up or beat the regular game and hopefully head into post game and hopefully beat that soon as well so that we can get started on our Pokedex. So, yeah. Um, this is our team currently. We need to heal up. Okay, so time to go to the next stop. No. Oh, Yuri's not having this today. Catch the Snowvern. I learned something. Well. I already learned that last stream by myself. But we can run away from a Pokemon and go... Uh... Split it again. Or go into him again to try and reset our Quick Ball. I think that might actually be faster for our... Specific... Things. Where does this lead to? One button again. This leads down here, I guess. Right on the goal, we need you. I just saw a hunter as well, I technically want to just catch that. Light screen. I should still be fine throwing two quick balls, otherwise we're running. No. Okay, so we're running. Freeze dry. Engage again. Because I still don't have a Pokémon that can fall swipe. But we'll be figuring that out soon enough. Come on! Oh, too close. The promo, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the follow. How are you doing today? Why is this Pokemon being a bitch to me? I didn't want to run into Deli Bird. If you don't mind. can't throw fast enough to get behind him. What if I... Uh, I don't have any weak ice attacks. Damn it. Really gonna have to weaken him. Wait, reflect. Now I can use a weak attack. A strong attack. Ice can crash. Shouldn't kill, right? I'm 30 levels above. Nice. Uh, just hit with an Ultra Ball. Are you this guy is just a bitch. Eh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, is that stupid ass hunter still in the neighborhood? Hmm, I thought I caught the big guy. Apparently, I didn't catch the big guy. I need to fight her as well. Oh, that's wrong. Throw. Again, Yordi is getting distracted by things. Dying. Oh. He's too close in there. Am I gonna... Because there's a path... No, there's not a path down here. There's only a path this way. Okay, let's just for shits and giggles go down this... Ooh. There's the hunter I was looking for. But all. What is the day with me? Terrible catch rate, yo. Oh, curse. It's not a great move. That hurts. Bite it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Nope. Chipped you. I can't fucking see you because you're so fucking tiny. Don't just appear in my... Freaking face, thank you very much. Bomb. Did I catch a bomb snow yet? Snow warning, but it failed because it's already snowing. No, we didn't catch a bomb snow yet. You what, mate? <laughs> you didn't even wiggle for me. In drain. Well, let's test if I kill or not. Yeah, shit. Got you already once. Okay, we've been down there, I think at least. Wrong button for the map. Um I'm looking down here, right? No. To Medali there? Yeah. Okay, then I know where this ends up. Because I explored that entire area already. Sneasels, Kupchu. What's this? 
Might as well kill it. Because I did catch it already. Hey Zillar, how are you today? Ghost. Easy. Glad to hear, glad to hear. Uh, I'm okay. I'm just tired and stressed out, but other than that, I'm okay. Nah, uh, it's uh, nothing really happened. I'm just, uh, I need to, the build down of my medication is just hitting very hard and I've been too busy the past couple of days. So, uh, I just gotta reaccumulate, uh, re I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's just taking a long time. So I'm getting unnecessarily stressed. Did I catch that hunter yet? No, yes. I didn't capture the other thing. I also don't have a spirit thing yet. So, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, all over the place today. I couldn't just not do anything, so that's why I went live very early. Come on, wiggle for me. No, it is a wiggle. I did ask him to wiggle for me. Wiggle, wiggle. Special defense spell. Oh, effective. Oh, effective. Uh, disc ball. Maybe that works. It is a ghost type. Two, three. Oh, he killed himself again. The butthole. I should have just left and tried again. This comes. That's Snom. Are you special? No, you're just a Snom. Sure, if I ever if I caught the bomb song before, yeah, we did. Then we kill it. No chest. Shame. This looks like a dead end. Oh wait, we already caught the Murkrow, I think. We're, ow. Yeah, we caught the Murkrow already. Uh, Punch Crow. I realized that I can actually ch oh, jump down and climb up now, which is pretty chill.
Don't know why you guys are here. But I need both of you Pyroar versions. Nice. Easy. Weavile is nearby as well, so fetching that one soon. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yes. I wish every fucking Pokemon would just fall into the ball like that. like a cave, but that's not a cave. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm heading back to here, Glacio. We're taking the other path up. Fighting the trainers on the roads. <laughs> Dragonair! Dragon versus Dragon. Dragon Claw. Smashed. There's another trainer there. But I guess that's on the path, right? Oop. Damn, sp path splits up again. Star Wingle. Don't need that. Oop. Didn't notice them. Sup. Sup. Modest. Okay, it's not that much split, so I can just go to the next spot here. I can run back, I mean. <coughs> Oops! Sends out Tarles. Actually weak against this Tarles, I just realized. Thankfully, this motherfucker is low level. Sixty-seven. Uh, I guess that wasn't wild enough. Lol. 
there's another path here. Jesus fucking Christ. No trainer so far. into a tiny snom. Snom, I'm sorry, but we're not gonna fight. You're too tiny and too weak. Okay, now... Uh, this is the actual path I should have been taking. The other one is just a uh, shortcut down. To be honest, I'm surprised we're this close to... Oh! I'm surprised that we're this close to... the tower already. That is also where the Weavile spawns. Evidently. Did I actually fight you? Yeah. We're gonna take that path down towards the next area. I have a little bit of more of a look around though. We found a wave. Still need to catch one extra of you, don't we? The tower! The tower! Yes indeed, Zilla! I think I have to go this way to check this area, right? Maybe I'll check it later. Did I go all the way over here to check that? Pretty sure I did not. I'll come back to that. We'll check up top though. Zone zone. back here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go to the tower. I can actually get up here now. Weavile, now be a good girl and go into the ball. Was asking you to be a good girl uh, what I did wrong, Weavile? Getting my hope up. Val is low. No, 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 no. That sounds like a bad idea. I think I'm just gonna try a different ball. For a bit.
Joker number four. Nice. We found um Okay, let's go grab this for room here. Pretty sure that's not the one that I own yet, right? Yeah. Harshly fell. Please go in the ball of the room. Reva boom, I mean. Okay, that's not so great. Why'd you have to do that, Reva room? Three towers there. Interesting. Swagger. Don't have to attack anyways. I absolutely hate how abysmal my uh, catch rate is in this game. Catch one of you extra, and catch the big boy. You guys should go easily in, right? You're not gonna... F yeah, okay, thanks. Makes me feel better. Where's the other one? There he is. Now you have to turn around. Knuckle stack. Thanks. Okay. Means we're done here. Dawnstone, that's nice. Can go either one of two ways. Another Dawnstone. Lucha 
don't have you yet. Lycan Rock. Different form. Thanks. Day form. Indeed. Did I actually catch Indeed before yet? No. Are you bloody fucking kidding me, boy? Catch a halucha. Don't remember. little too agitated. <laughs> I need both male and female in ED anyways as well. Thanks. In DD. That shit do think tough. It doesn't want to be uh, too annoying, at least. Why do I want another Tinker Tough? Because I'm working on a living Dex. Oh no, no, Almighty escaped. Now Almighty is still here. I just uh, don't want to use the Pokémon uh, that I used in my uh, playthrough, or the ones that uh, have nicknames uh, to be for my living decks. Yeah, let's try an Ultra Ball. Yordi. Why is my catch rate so bad today, yo? <sighs> These guys literally make me want to cry right now. Try timer ball. Ah, heh heh. Crit catch. Let's see if I caught you. That's a male in ED. Keep an eye on him, then let it escape. 
Yeah, we caught you. Okay, death. Sword stance, rude. See if we can catch that big burb as well. Okay, NDD, this time you're going in. Yes, that's what I'd like to see. Crit capture. Frisk. Espatra. Um, quick ball, come on. Yes, that's what we like to see. Anything else? Let's set a path further down. We caught all of you already. I just need specific typings. Halucha is caught. Axios and. Wait. What the fuck is this? Didn't want to run into you. Shoes are fine. I don't think I caught them actually yet. Did I? I also don't know if I can catch a Hexorus wild. I do know that Garchomp is catchable wild. Outrage. How about um, we do not kill. Um, Boyo here. Ultra Ball. This is not going the way I wanted to, is it? It's not what I wanted to see. Dragon Claw, I should have speed, right? Good tools. Fractures caught off guard. Set this, set my entire game here.
Okay. Uh, let's go to the Pokemon Center. I think we caught those guys already. Not sure if I caught the big one as an extra already. Hound Stone. Thanks. Critical Catcher! Catcher. Catcher. Sure. <coughs> La da 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 da. Iker Yanira. Crocodile. Actually, caught any of those solutions yet? I don't think I caught anything in the desert. Uh, you get the one right. Should work. No, it's dark as well, so and that's fine. give you a nickname, Skull Villain. No, then I'm gonna use you for uh, the decks. This is the jungle. This is where that base is at. Ooh. I can find regular Flareon and little Gallade here. It's good to know. Ow. Still, it's actually kind of scary to fight with the uh, Tink Tonk, but it's fine. Fuck. But still, how about you do not do that? Because I'm fire as well. 
Uh, don't even know. This is kind of bad. I think Ghost Rock should be fine. I can't get hit by Mega Kid. Ground type moves. Shouldn't we? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Timer ball. Mega kick doesn't do it. You up. Wasting timer balls like a camp. Thanks. Trainer with Riolu and Lucario. Capture Lucario because we saves us time again. If we get it, at least. Now there's our first blue one. Let me actually write that down as well. Because then I know what's what. Hey, hey, fucking funny. Stakes blue is one. Lucario, you put hole. Oh. oh, that's bad. That's scary. Let's try Brutal Swing, right? To lower its HP a little bit. Okay, we can... Uh, we just heal pulls? Oh, he heals me. That's very nice of you. Oh, didn't want to throw Ultra Ball yet. Okay, good enough. Lucario's registered. The reason I'm doing it like this, by the way, instead of just braiding and then... Uh, is because uh, yeah, instead of purely braiding... It's because breeding takes more time, and then I have to level them up as well, and... Ugh. I did it that way last time. Didn't like it. So we're gonna do it differently this time. Plus, all Pokémon are way easier to catch. There's like... Almost every evolution is, like, findable in the game. If it isn't due to the raids, it's through, uh... On the wild. Just Gigaton, oh, I could have used the uh, bug attack. The 
this should kill anyways. I know. Oh, no, I do want to pull out a stake. Bacchidio! This is the first blue stake that I found, though. I haven't found a single green one yet. I know I can climb back up, but I'm too lazy to fucking jump down. Was, okay, you know what? Is this again? I should catch this one for the living decks because it may have a shiny version of you. Uh, you get the hammer, I guess, right? Also, the Mimikyu there. Might as well capture it. <sighs> it's just... Oh, wait. I could have used the repeat ball. False poison doesn't affect me. From behind, I catch higher catch rate. <laughs> Fuck. Let's try again. Double team. Disguised form. Are you saying there's a non disguised form of Mimikyu? We fought once before. Did not pick this up, so might as well pick it up now. Listen, Yordi, I know you get distracted, but you should really stop being distracted. No! Thanks. Okay, we're going back up. After collecting the leak points.
Thunder. Those are just Koalas. Sorry, what is here? Pig. I wanted the big pig. From pig. Might give me that. Oh no, he's four HP. He's four HP, so it doesn't work. Does he had not have any other moves that work on me? He's just purely using rest. Dogs. Okay, and this is back like that back up. Let's spray. Teddy Ursa and Okay, Earth Ring I don't have apparently. Be a good uh, boy and just get into the Pokeball. But he's not asleep. Nice, thanks.
There's an area that spawns blissies as well. Not bad. Very Marble Ghost. Okay, Barble Ghost, don't use Memento, thank you. Thanks. Saves me for having to evolve an annoying Pokemon. I didn't even catch a Bremlin yet. The cringe is next level. I'm telling you. I actually want to go this way. I need to route off the other path to the jungle. This for weird ass. Wall. Did you just seriously engage with me, you freaking burp? Oh, you just want to fight me as well? You're an aggressive little uh, rodent, aren't you, Flareon? <laughs> So Lava Plume won't do as much damage. Speed is decreasing. Three. 
Don't use Memento Precludes, that would really ass. Would be really ass, I mean. I know where the Terra Flareon is at, but that bitch just mementoed. <laughs> Thanks, Flareon Cots. I just need Espeon and Umbreon now. I know where I can catch an Umbreon. And I bet I can figure out where to catch a Espeon as well. And especially if we just use those sandwiches to make uh, Pokemon of specific types spawn. Makes life a lot easier. Ghastly. Piss off. Would you please? Yes, at last! Last one. Pokemon Maniac. Puppitar. The Puppitar! Um, hmm. I also know where to catch a Puppitar. Sure if I no I didn't catch it. That was before the seven gym. It was after the eight gym that I decided to uh, use or to catch everything on my path again. Electrons should be fine. Play wrong. Would survive with one HP. Use discharge. It's not very effective. Brutal swing. Because that has 100% accuracy at least. Slow bro. Should be fine with Megaton Hammer. Or um oh. Let's use Brutal, brutal Swing. Is that, um, yeah, still fairly close by? You are still fairly close by as well. <sighs> Dragon Dance, Lucha, Ultra Ball, Scene, just uh, stinky. Didn't notice the Bulldog. Cloud Nine disappear. Weather disappears. Might be enough. No. Phantom Force. There's another trainer over there. In the room. Teeny. 
regular old Chen scene. Serena. Sa 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 sa. It's not good enough, Blue Storm. It's also not good enough. This chancy, but I'm not in the mood. Feels like those things are like, yo, you can find them here at some point, but it's not like they're here right now. At least that's what it feels like, right? back to the Pokemon Center and back up because I've been getting distracted here even though there's nothing for me here. At least not at this very moment. Wait, did I...? Oh my lord, Jordy! Calm yourself. I need to catch you once more, that is something that I have to do. Don't actually know how often you guys respawn. Think about it, I technically need three in total. And about almost 2,000 gimmick wall coins as well. Hooper. Oh, I have 999. That means I need to evolve it right now. At least one of them. 
Because if I get more and I can't stack them, it'd just be painful. Yeah, I fought you, right? Yeah. Lucha, you fucking butthole. Thanks. We're fine, everything is fine. I wasn't even close to that, I just ran past. Maybe not, maybe I'm just uh, saying I did it. Do we fight you? Yeah. Check this area. Partially. I ended up not jumping this way. Mountain. So we ended up not yet exploring with the cave. Last burn, frenzy plants. That's dope. Getting um, the special moves from the original Kento starters. Here's the question Do we know Yordi? Yes, we do know Yordi. Do we know Yordi well enough that he does not? actually keep his mindset on one thing at the time, yes. Okay, good. Means I don't have to explain it. Or explain the fact that I am getting distracted again. Quick break. the fuck is there a trainer here? Um, before I do anything else... Boxes.
I gotta be sure before I start catching Pokemon again that I set them... Set the box on the right one. Okay. Back. Oh, uh, I don't actually know how to evolve it. Do I need to have the 99 coins and then just use a rare candy? Yeah, okay, good enough. What? Gimme Ghoul's evolving? Yeah, bro. Into a money making bastard. Into Golden Go. Steel Ghost type. Now I can. Grab all the coins again. Uh, wrong button. Oopsis. And then go back to box 10. I feel so free! Is a bee. Susan, the office worker. Wig trio. Blade rush. Check all the other islands if there's anything item wise. Catch the Barascuda, because we don't have that one yet. Thanks, easy cat. The rest of the guys, I, the rest of the two I already got. Still need a basculum and uh, whatever the other Pokemon was called. Or Terra Pokemon. Don't mind if I do. That means I only have to catch any Electrals. Is that a dragon type? Nice. This thing was called. Oh, the, I mean, the one in between of these two. Oh, this guy is. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, we got this. We can do this. Easy. Um, let's just try a quick ball. It's turn two, anyways. Shit. Oh, you can Like, I'm, the entire time I'm worried that I'm gonna get hit by a fucking Dragon-type move. This guy doesn't learn any Dragon-type moves. Thanks. This is why we go so insane on exploring, because it just saves me from having to look for certain Pokemon. Or to look them up. Oh, the other one is called Electite or whatever. Electrols is the final one. And we might run into it in the water at some point.
Just waiting for the moment that something big suddenly pops up and tries to eat me. I said once that I like water, right? Like swimming and such. But I'm terrified of the deep water. <laughs> Which is kind of dumb. I think we caught the Luminos last time. Unless that was one of the few Pokémon that used Mythos on my ass. I don't think it was. HP up. PP up. Gyarados! Arbos. Ice beam. Let's see, what is this? Okay, let's uh, wiggle my diggle and diggle, diggle, diggle. Liquidation. Scrap. That's a Flareon. We caught that one finally. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk to you again. I see a big boy I haven't caught. Set it in. That's stake number two. <laughs> yes. I think I've seen this entire sea now. <gasps> Glade! Glade, 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 Glade. Glade is gonna be fucking useful if I catch one right now. Oh, wait, but this is for the living Dax Marsh not playing, isn't it? Still. Maybe I can find something else that's very useful. Very nice of you. Or are you just healing me up so that you can one shot me? <laughs> one, two, three. Nice. That just leaves Gardevoir. We also know where we can catch that. I mean, I technically don't have to worry too much, because if I know that they're spawn certain type of Pokémons that are rare in these areas, I can just use their 
uh, what are they called? Their type, bread or sandwich, and that will make them spawn a lot more, just like with the chances, for example. If I do that in a spot where chances spawn regularly, sort of, or a slightly rarer version, then you suddenly get a lot of chances. Strike. Sligu. I do need the second one, technically speaking. Fine. We're doing raids anyway, so we can use uh, our Boyo the fire type here. <laughs> Even though he's dead. But after we uh, beat the story and see the credits, everyone is revived. And we end the death rule. So yeah, according to my theory, he should be pure ice type right now. Should be. So I should be able to hit full... yeah. If it wasn't a pure ice type, I wouldn't have been able to do super effective damage because of the dragon typing. Holy slam. Remove negative effects from itself. Okay, this should open up the. Shield now. Uh, one more turn, and then I can go terrestrialize. Guys, the stats changes in abilities of. Flamethrower. Wow, Rain Dance exactly on the moment that I terrestrialize for Flamethrower. <laughs> okay. You fucking little shit. Break the shield. Fail. Finish it off with armor cannon. Cool, the workers are gone. Seems happy about that. Catch it. Oh, not too late. Oh, did I? No, I didn't, did I? So you're here. Ghost Moth. More weave elves here.
Did I? Hold up, you cocksucker. Shouldn't. 17. Static. I can find those guys way earlier in the game and they're way weaker so they'll probably be caught very easily. Drain punch. Glacial Mountain. This entire side of the mountain is unexplored. What are you? Ooh. Wait, 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 ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um... I got one. And I got the evolution, which I'm using. Yeah, okay, I need a few more. Bag, full restore. We also need that card for. Uh, turns into dark type. What level is it? Forty. Uh. Dragon Claw, fuck it. Is that enough? Yeah, good. I've already called a few, so Repeat Ball should do the trick. Yeah, good. Magneton. Magne there, by the way, as well. Oh, you're, you're so distracted. We're not even, like, we're not even post-post game yet. Jordy, come on. I can't help it. I'm thinking to myself, like, if I do it now, I don't have to do it later. We do have a decent amount of time though today, so Magna Zone. Card four. For some reason the targeting doesn't really work well on uh taller Pokemon. One, two, three. I just realized that Guard of War is very... <sighs> One more quick ball. Call mines. Uh... Yeah, we're switching out. <laughs> there is no way. I don't want to lose our boy now.
Life Doom, Guard of Force, HP is already full. We're running out of Ultra Balls, by the way. Guard of Fort Quartz. Quartz? Quartz. Quartz. C A U G H T. English is hard. I know. Okay, that means the only one we need to grab is Kirilla, right? Can I actually. Is the, this little fucking crab near here? Or is it just on the map? It might just be on the map. We already caught that pig in the meantime. I'm not gonna worry about it. Got a Zorya. I'm not planning on using Zorya. Okay, we're near town right now. So this it should be should be done here. Another Pokemon. North Province, Area 1. What is this? Uh, it's Glaceon, but we don't need another Glaceon. Listen, we're going to save here, turn off autosave real quick. Got to be sure to turn it back on because I don't want to. And if I can't catch this fucking pleb of a re reloading the game. Because I'm not really willing to, uh, I'm pretty sure Spirit Tomb only spawns like at specific points. And I don't think anything else is going to work for them. God, fucking hell, nice. That's what we like to see.
Uh, options. Put auto save back on. This leads back to where we went into the cave. Psychic fangs. Yeah, okay. Oh. Now I'm pretty sure we explored everything. Yeah. So we're going back to the Pokemon Center. And we're gonna go finish off the area with the towers, I guess. Then we'll just go into the other area. Like to sell some junk. Didn't realize I had only so little. That's fine. Bye. We need some more. Ultra Balls, 16. We're heading back to the towers and finishing up that area. I don't know why exactly, but my brain was kind of specifically doing something. Ah, fuck it. Keep my eye open to see if there's something of interest, right? You know, there's one. I'm telling you. Super distracted. There's one spot we didn't actually check yet, and that's on this side of that wall. We went straight. The other way, right? Yeah, like we missed this item. Three Ultra Balls. Okay, I can't climb that. I would like to run into a wild Amphros, honestly. But I guess I can't have everything, can I? <sighs> I hope there are some more chest uh, boyos here. I'm on the dragon trial! Are you? Here, let me bitch slap your ass. With my dragon. <laughs> the... Would also be nice if we could just catch Ibudra somewhere instead of having to... Uh...
bro, 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 shiny dratini, bro, 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 get over here, you butthole, shiny dratini. Rain dance. Repeat ball. Because we've got the entire family. One, two. Safeguards. Dratini was caught. Heck fucking yeah, bro. Bro. <laughs> um. already found so fucking many shinies, yo. And we haven't even, like, uh, got the shiny charm yet. Claude Sire, try catch it again. dive ball because it is a uh, swimming <laughs> why is cold sire so strong Cliff. Book Terra. <sighs> I'm the eldest of the three sisters. My turn. Good, because I'd like to know where to catch Noivern. Dragon Claw. Holy shit, Noivern is faster than me. Which I feel like I should have anticipated. Hmm. 
No need. Seems I failed to take flight. Yeah, you can't have everything, yo. I need to catch another one. This one. So that I can get a second one without having to trade, clone, or use, whatever. Stomp. Just use repeat ball because I already popped two. I'm not frustrated, you are. <laughs> Oh, wrong one. Uh, maybe we are lucky and he goes into the timer ball. Oh, so close. There's uh, here the dusk ball. I mean, I don't know what was worth. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. It this ball doesn't work very well. Okay, now we should be able to use the timer ball, right? Yeah, thanks. Critical catch. Especially when I just use the fucking timer ball. Unfucking believable. Believe that shit. How many do I get? Chest form. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fifteen. I'm pretty sure someone someone told me that you can get like uh, what five hundred sometimes. If you're lucky, that is. Did I forget to pick up a chest there. Or a bowl. Dragel Gene. What was the other one using again? Eh, doesn't matter. Relic Spurl. Okay, back to the poke set. <sighs> you already didn't even finish a sentence saying we're going back to the Pokemon Center. Then when I was checking the map, suddenly was like, yeah, no, we're not going back. <laughs> we're checking this motherfucking hill here. Not just a hill, but we're checking the hills.
Listen. You are going into a ball. Uh, preferably in this quick ball. I'm gonna give you a fighting type move. Shit. And then we're gonna use you for a bit, purely so that I can get your evolution. Everybody in my chat is now thinking, fuck would you do that? And uh, I'm gonna explain... In a bit. <clears throat> slash. Okay, so the I need to fight three whatever those things are called, right? B sharps. Um, with another B-sharp, but the fighting B-sharps need to be in a group. With each other. Uh, with uh, the tiny ones, so they need to be in a horde and need to be carrying a specific weapon. And he needs to kill those. Yes, I know it doesn't make sense. Thanks. Let's, let's see. Would be funny if this was the one from the ward and not the other one. But I don't care at this point. Because we're also going into the... What's it called in a bit? That's the party. Into the jungle where you can specifically do that. Ponyard Blades. Okay, you didn't have it. That's good. Submarine. See your moves. Okay, uh, learn moves. Reversal is not that good. Poison Jab. Brick Break is okay. Uh, over. Whatever. We're gonna waste some of our rare candies on him so that he's a little bit higher level. His chance of getting his ass fucked is lower that way. Got plenty of rare candies, so I'm just 10 levels higher. Iron Heads. Okay. Put you up front. Throw it at the B sharp. Brick break. Boom. That's one. I just need to be three with those. So, whether I, it's the right one or not, it's just a matter of uh, battling everything, I guess. Don't think that that one is in a wave. Did I ever catch you? Okay, finally walk into you. Let's see if I caught you last time. Yeah, okay. Thank Jesus. So I don't really feel like doing it again. Love Luke's Array. But I don't like it when they're a pain in my bum. still need to catch a Houndoom? I think I do, don't I? Oh, I have B-Sharp up front. Fucking cares. If he dies, he dies. But we better just catch this Houndoom in one go. 
Come uppens, but it failed. I don't know what that means, come uppens. Uh, you're fairly tanky, and you're not weak to fire, so... Lizio. Electromorphosis. Oh yeah, that's actually... Well, maybe that's a good thing, because he's now actually weakening. Instead of having to catch it uh, on full HP. Even though I can't really hurt it. Foul plane. He should be fine as long as he doesn't crit. Heal on this turn. Come up and doesn't do it. No. Why is he no longer using? <laughs> At least soon we're out of the wall areas or the climby areas. Come on, come on, come on. He's not doing it. He's not having it. Oh, he's using flamethrower. If it wasn't for the fire type, I could have used the uh, thingy for slashing. I'm actually gonna put that on him, now that I think about it. Fucking genius idea. False wipe. Check Submarine. Change move, use TM to learn a move. Full swipe, got three of them. It's even better. Over retaliate. Means I can use this guy later. Once we are done with the playthrough. Music in this area is kind of funny. Funky. Ooh, we found blue stake number three. Spoink and whatever the other thing was called. Cricketune. Also need that. Jordi, we're not yet at the end game. Come on, don't get distracted. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm not distracted. You are. <sighs> yeah, that I'm talking to myself again. Being distracted. First, do the quick throw, quick ball. Just hope that I don't have to waste time. Yeah, I have to waste time. Night slash, it's fine. Doesn't do that much. Uh, battle, ball swipe. Holy shit! Oh, bollocks! Perish song. Perish song, perish song, perish song. Okay.
Oh, that's the wrong ball. That's not gonna work at all. Parasol. Okay. Uh, failed. Parish some count felt the two. We have one more turn. And just try it, I guess, with a nest ball. Net ball. That's bug type. Okay, let's hope. One, two, three. Thanks, Jesus, bloody hell. It's, that's when we learn we haven't caught a Cricketon yet. Cricket toot. This Cricket tune. Okay, now we got a Cricket Tot. Good. Don't have a Greedent yet. But we don't care about Greedent for a bit. No! It wasn't ready yet! <laughs> so you made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss it out on the action. Clive, oh, you my thanks. You help. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was so worried of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind last of all. Do we have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have been stopped down. See, we've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Let Don't let me down, either of you. Gasopia has hung up all right. Thanks to you, Jordi, I've slowly been surely and sure I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care, that base, Master Jordi. Ah, sorry. For getting up late there. Don't know what came over me. We know what came over you, you dumbass. Cause we know who you are. Okay. Kill this B-sharp. Quick break. We're going back up. <laughs> I wasn't done yet. Assholes. Yeah, we can't do that part yet until I actually get into the... Why is this area, like, out of the zone, but I can still enter it? Because I can't enter far enough. Okay, um... Oh, did I despawn the B-sharps? Great. Uh, number three, actually. But I still don't know if these are the actual right ones, because uh, of you know, I don't know if he's carrying the item. We'll see that, like, right now. Yes. Nope, he didn't have the item. This might actually be scary as a fighting type phalanx. Oh well. Thanks. Don't have to be scared anymore, Yordi. jump down here cuz obviously there's more to see J 
chill and burying. We already called a dupe for you. Because we're gonna keep that one. Oh, hey, Chansey. Goodbye, Chansey. I'm killing you. Primate. Actually, walk in here. You're my Pokemon. Ugh. Your code is ice. Leading to paradise. Something, something. Um, yeah, I was gonna warp away. So that we can walk into from over here and grab that item of that person that kept saying, Have you been having a nice battle? Something, something. Stone Edge. Okay. How nice of them. Or uh, am I running into the wrong direction again? Wouldn't be too surprising. Oh, uh, no, we're going to, into the actual right location this time. The, on towards. If you're questioning why I changed Pokemon from B-Sharp, it's because... This is a trainer battle, and I don't want to use B-Sharp on actual trainer battles. I'm just fighting the certain B-Sharps and Pokemons that I want to catch, so that I can Fall Swipe and evolve it into the next Pokemon. Um, that's why he's in the team, because he's technically not allowed to be in the team. Because of the rules that I set up. Since he's n not a new Pokemon. Well, his evolution is technically a new Pokemon. But to get his evolution, you need to do a specific thing. And you can't just catch his evolution. Which is kind of a shame. Roselli Berry. Uh, that's the way... that's something. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Not okay. Relaxed Mint. Okay, now we're okay. Ow. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Okay, I need to check this area, obviously. Wait, Graveyary? I need you. Because I don't want to go out of my way to evolve. Oh wait, is Graveyary the fighting type? Just go in. No, he won't go in. Please don't close both claws for fighting. No, no you're fine. It's just incredibly high level. False life. Jesus. Air slash. Ah, oh, 
other IVs on this one in solo. Critical hit. It's fine, I can heal up. I mean, I could. I think I can use something else, right? Whirlwinds, but Phil. Everything is effective, though. Just gonna keep false swiping. Critical hit, nice. This should be good enough. Timer ball. Decent amount of time has passed, four turns have passed. Two, three, click, thank you. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Sword stance. Iron defense, yeah. Braviary, Valiant, Pokemon. Oh, see, it, see, we did actually do it, we just needed to level it up. Okay, that means I'm gonna... What does that mean exactly, Yordi? Yeah, what does that mean, Jordi? Kowtow Cleave? Defiant. This attack never misses. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll have to do it again with another one. At some point. Why is that, Jordi? Because you don't want to use your usable Pokémon in the fucking... Dex. Yes, that's why. Uh, me and my rules. Oh, wrong button. Uh, it was long for as long as it lasted, I guess. Uh, where is... Who did I remove again? You. Score villain... Why do I always set up such dumbass rules for myself? I guess I'll just have to capture another one. Well, I have to capture another one anyways, but I'll just have to capture two in total. Okay, now we're back here. Means we've explored everything over here. And to head back up. Quite a lot of Pokemon trainers uh, next to each other all of a sudden. Alexis. Anyways, the good news is soon we're done with uh, all the what well, most of the exploring. All I gotta do is finish off the ending uh, quests of the gym challenge and of the star challenge. Because we already did the other one the last time. Teleflame, that's nice. Uh, also, we need to do all the tests before we do all the other things. So once we finish the last 
overworld thing of Star. We're gonna go to school and we're gonna learn. And we're gonna... Well, you know, finish off everything else. Where's this? Oh, this is part of an area that comes after. Okay, so we're not going in here yet. type, right? Plus, they're not that high level. Yeah, we'll just do Stab, Dragon Claw. Uh, yeah, anyways, guys. We're, like, nearing, like, the... Uh, pre-post-game area, right? And that means uh, you've seen how Yordi does open <laughs> world games. Uh, yeah, if we ever play another open world game, this is pretty much gonna be uh, how it's gonna go. <clears throat> yeah, of course not. Dipshit. Sharp U slash. Need to buy some repeater balls now. Nice, that's what we like to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is one. You know what? I'll just walk into you. Uh, I probably should have thrown the other ball first, but at this point, do we even care? Yeah, technically we do. Italiate. <laughs> That's actually a dope-ass looking move. I'm not gonna lie. Be sharp. Don't be mean. Be nice. I don't think I'm gonna risk losing uh, my dragon right before the Elite Four and everything. Blade Pokemon. I'm not gonna do the evolution requirements right now. I'll do that later. It's just gonna be too much of a hassle, I feel. Arboliva. 
think we already got a Venom Morph, right? Seed Sour. Looks like a nice ability. Defeat Lola, the cook. The what? The cook? The what? The cock? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, you already. That's uh, enough shenanigans. Mr. Boombastic, call me fantastic. Air crawls, we got that. I can run into an Arcanine here. Cool. If we run into it, we catch. This is not up for discussion. And then everyone is like, why not? It's because I say so. It's a good enough reason. <laughs> okay. After all, this place is a dictatorship. Dictatorship. Not. Uh... <laughs> oh shit. Okay, enough joking around. Unbelievable! Nothing is unbelievable if you believe hard enough. Ali the student. Prince Ali da 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 <laughs> Just dragon claw the belly bolts. Wow, it survived? Oh no. Oh no. Zep cannon and it hit! Okay, we're n nothing to worry about. Uh, because we're a dragon. Remember, Yordi, you are dragon. Fire, water, thunder. Do not are weak against you. Remember that as a prideful warrior of the dragon race. Press the wrong button again. Which he already always does, so that's not very new. PP up. Wee oui, wee. Oui. PP. I can't believe we call the shiny fucking Dratini. Though Dragonite looks like shite. Sorry, I did <sighs> this. <sighs> this place instantly piqued my curiosity. Rare candy. Pepitar. <coughs> Pepitar, please be a good girl and just get in the ball. Thank you. That's what we like to see. I think I caught Larvitar already, right? Right? Okay, good.
This place looks dope. Before I actually don't jump into where all those buttholes are. And you run a circle. Well, what place is this? Is this the place again where I... Yeah, go through here and then we get here. It's all part of that area. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Uh... No, we're not gonna do that. We'll do that when I'm actually gonna do it. I'm doom, but no... Noi bats. On the other hand, we are gonna go grab this point, because I don't want to climb all the way up here again. Sword Stangs, Backscalibur, you go have some fun with these idiots. Fight the chest for another set of high level. The jungle is honestly not so bad. Because uh, it's fairly, like, one area-wise, it's just that Yordi has premium power when it comes to getting distracted. Oh, I can fly to this location. And obviously, this, like, that there was a location all the way up here, grass location, right? Distracted me even more. And, like, I had to go up. There wasn't a... Maybe, or what if, no. The... Okay, we've also found where the... The blue pillar thing is. We found the green one, we found the purple one, and we found the blue one. Uh, that leaves us with only one more to find. That is the yellow one. That's quite a lot of damage. I don't think it's a good idea to keep you in here. Wait, do I need to still catch one of those tiny lizards? I don't remember. You like darkness, right? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Duskball might be better than Ultra. Yes, Jordi, that should have been obvious from the start that this guy likes darkness because it's a bat. Jordi, why are you so mean to yourself today? Yeah, Yordi, why are you so mean to yourself today? Okay, let's go throw a ball at Silent It's see if we actually caught it. Yeah, <laughs> figured. I remember catching uh, the like the evolution, and I remember not catching this one because it wasn't female the first time I uh, encountered one. And I don't necessarily need uh, both the evolution and the... Uh, I just need one. Registered. No. I've been catching too many Pokemon again today. I'm really sorry. Here, stake number four. I don't even know how many stakes you need to pull out. Ok, 
Okay, that's uh, on the other side. We don't need to go there yet. This place is kind of epic. With all the... I am going back in, because there was only... Oh no, that was just my imagination. Only bad spawn again. Hyrin Lai sealed the rumor runes beads. Oh, Doug Trio, I don't know what the fuck you are doing there underwater, but it doesn't look healthy. Don't know what that is. Oh, that's a Save Lie. Save Lie is just uh, choking himself. Gotta get out of here and continue onward in the jungle. Okay, we good. Could have used your just used the teleporter, but there's no fun in that. These falls. Are you getting inspiration, art person? It has to wait, you have to battle me first. Wait, 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 oh, thank fucking Jesus. I thought I wasn't recording. I literally almost shut myself. Literally almost shut myself. Flogress, Flogress, Flogress. Was that the fairy one? I don't remember. So I think we're switching. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the fairy one. So we're switching and he gets on hammering this foothold. Bamboo shorts. Better gotta use it for some recipes. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, slacking, we already call the slacking. Wait, did I end up catching two B-Sharps? <sighs> I do have a memory of... Uh, after evolving the last B-Sharp, that is. Golduck. Okay, let me have a look. Jordi needs to remind himself every day. Yeah, okay, we got two. Good. That he's a dumbass. Last Gengar we fought killed half our team. <laughs> Ronzong, that was uh, literally not part of what I had in mind when I uh, decided to fight that trainer.
pro. I've been battling Pokemon since I was a kid. Of course I'm pro. I'm just not that pro that I can also uh, enter tournaments. I'm a little bit too lazy to get that pro. Four trainers, but I need to beat five. Which asshole did I miss? Is there one right in front of this place? Don't know if I need to catch another Aranguru. Oranguru. Well, they are not that hard to find, at least, so if I need another one, I'll capture it. Later. Shit. I'm really wondering where the fuck did I miss one trainer? In this area. Maybe the next area counts as well. We fought you. We fought the puny brat over here, I think. We went over here. Fault you. It's outside. Just be sharp. Wow, the lag in here, it really is insane. So insane that it's kind of hurting my eyes. Cave? No. Just hole in the mountain. Mountain in the hole! Kind of crazy. Clean meep. Ho 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 ho. Is that an Emperor's I see? No, I just need to catch Fluffy, and that one is fairly easy to find in areas with many mirror reap. Of course I get paralyzed again. Some guards. No trainer here.
Area 2 of North Province. Defeat 5 and you'll get a lovely prize. I don't know what still counts as Area 2, so... I guess we're gonna do the Star Battle! We're not using Bexel, Bexcalibur because... Well, I doubt I need to explain that. He's an Ice type. We're using you and we're fighting Fighting type. Almighty is okay because we're Fairy type. You are okay and... You are okay due to being Fire Grass. Notes that that is literally only for the first wave of it. You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. Same to you. Every ones that your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. But I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gate. Would you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. Get a closer look. Who are you? Jordy, there you are. Start talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. Then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Eh, knew you'd be here. Carmen! Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here, it's not safe. I'll take over guards guarding the base, Riri. You're, you should get inside. No, I won't back down, I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Till the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in Calf Squad. And everyone else in Team Star too. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. Spoiled of the squad, I, I just can't. Riri, please, I'm your friend, listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. Sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a Hasta la Vista from you, nice and loud. Hasta la Vista! I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Yordi, my Pokemon and I are actually running on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you could handle this grunt alone? Sure. Thanks. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? I'm so ready. Whoosh. Let's be real though, Team Star is not really an evil team. Like, it's just not. Pro Gunk is fighting. Poison. So, not super effective with a fairy type move. It's already over. But yeah, another Pokemon. I have Primeape. F. Do, 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 do. The music slaps in this game, though. Done an excellent job. I lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Don't worry. I'll take it from here. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! Rototototo. Take it, you defeated the guards out front. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Kaf Squad. Their boss, Eri, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole team star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she's likely the most alert to hostel hostilities after our declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to battle before anyone else. You're spot on. Yeah, we already met. I knew it. Tell me what happened. 
she retreated. We're talking about the same area, right? Well, it seems there was nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of, op of the operation. Time to wipe the calf squad off the map. I don't even know if I said that correctly, the calf. But, uh... Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as a constellation. We're the last bastion of Team Star. Losing isn't an option. Hey kid, you listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? I shouldn't have to worry too much. I like this one though. This base is kind of nice. Um. Oh. Ooh, we fought something that actually dealt damage to uh, score by a villain, whatever his name was. Oh, uh, no. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Core villain is not as high level as everyone else is, though, so... Oh, the Heracross might actually have done that. Because Heracross is a bug type and we're grass. Even though we're also fairy. I don't think we can hold them off much longer, boss. I don't think we can hold them off much longer. Boss of Team Star Fighting Crew, Aerie. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time I won't run away. Rawr! Area of Team Star. That's... Ah, fine. Poison attacks don't work. Fighting type moves work decently ish, I guess. Oh, fuck. Wrong attack. I don't actually know what level or what. Uh, didn't pay attention to the level. Brick Bray. Give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left. It's the first trainer with five Pokemon, though. I hope that the Elite Four at least has a full Team Six, every single one. Anila Ape. Now that is a dope Pokémon. This is the evolution of Primeape, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, Ghost Fighting. I think Play Rough should just super be super effective. Basimian, Basimian, 
Main. Yang. Pain. Brain. Lucario. That is a steel fighting type. It's... We'll see if... No, okay. Layer off is no longer super effective, but we by far out-level it, so... Our sphere. Good enough. And we miss. That's bad. Of our sphere! Rev of room. I I refuse to lose. So please lend me your strength. The star mobile. Okay, it's still super effective. Play rough. I should be fine as long as I don't miss and I don't get hit with a super effective move. Defense rose stamina. Interesting. High horsepower. That. This might be kind of scary. Play rough. Stamina again. High horsepower. <sighs> I'm literally, literally... You have 100%, right? Okay, we're just finishing it off with the Gigaton Hammer. <laughs> that was actually kind of scary. So sorry, everyone. About a year and a half ago. I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Now, nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who ask you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokémon without you, Ari. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude to us. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> come on, but being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now, I'm totally pooped. Ah, I'm sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we four have each trained in our in our turn, but you, our steadfast menster, have not rested, not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thanks for your concern, Atticus. But lately I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and rift? on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges. Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave it my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I want you to have this. I'd like to see you try out my trademark move, too. Here, this for you. Close combat. I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you are not a bad person. The way your Pokémon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... Ah! Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is Team Star member. <coughs> this is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So, what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on a friendly, on much friendlier terms with Eri compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spelled that? Well, all right. I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty too. 
It took her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I'm still here, Isilar, you're still here. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you start to pick on her? Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids were always fickle, and once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me even though I had been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. And she invited me into Team Star, even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. Joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star like why is engaged in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Ah, no, I merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please don't take away our greatest treasure. Every single time, the treasure! Part of the treasure hunt! <laughs> Roto to to to. We're coming back, give me a moment. Yordi, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ares Star Badge? Without his boss, the calf squad should be hair's breadth from disbanding. So Ari is the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. Imagine they'll leave Team Squad as uh, Team Star before long, now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back attending class at the Academy. Nice work out there, Yordi. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now that you're re now about your reward, Yordi, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 20k. And some TMs. It reminds me, I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Yordi his bonus rewards now. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. How though? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star back then. The members of the team were my close friends. And I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, their star won't do any good for anyone. They've got it, got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Yordi, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. And I'll see you both there. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought that possible, but with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best as we can before we're heading over. Uh, yeah, you guys can uh, flippity floppity fuckity duckity off. I have uh, better things to do right now. First things first, let's climb up here, grab items. Unless I fall down, obviously, because you're using dummy dumb. And we're gonna explore the last area that we just unlocked. Poison jab, poker doll. North Province Area 2. Still looking for one trainer in Area 2, but I can't find it. It's super frustrating. It's not an it, by the way, Yordi, it's a them. Seeing as you don't know the gender.
Let's for bowling. Anything left here? It doesn't seem to be the case. There's a Pokeball. Hyper Potion! Heeper the peep. Hoorah! Heeper the peep. Hoorah! Heeper the peep. Hoorah! <laughs> I'm crazy, so crazy. To glide down. Oh, 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 oh. A lot more Pokeballs than uh, I originally thought there were. That's another Puppy Tar. Really care about that. Noiverns Go Go. More useless enemies. Okay, so we're on four stakes. This is number five. Gimmicks around? No. Ooh, Arcanine. Oh shit. My Pokemon are all still dead. Almost dead at least. Mm, I'll keep Almighty in for the. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Thanks. Easy capture. Mm, Chancy. We got a bitch slap, you can see. <laughs> Bye, Chansey. Sayonara.
Zen headbutt. Okay, so this should not be claimable. Oh, this also still counts as area two. It's good to know. That means that my last trainer is somewhere in this area. Halucha. Holly, holly, hooly, hoo. Oh. Halucha, why are you so aggressive, bruh? Did I end up grabbing that? Yeah, I did. Good. Didn't end up grabbing this, I just ran past it like a idiot. Camera up! Did we ever catch a new mole before? Might as well try. But at least we're grabbing the camera up. Thanks. I love it when the game is like, here, have an easy cat. I'll we'll see it right now if we got it. Yeah, we got the new one. We just need purple as well. Let me actually put you up front. Because you're cool like that. There's still an entire area here, an entire area here. So I'm grabbing this and then we're climbing all the way up. At least in this game, I don't have to worry about uh, <laughs> silly things like uh, flaming stamina. Bitch! That was not intended. Are you kidding me? Rare candy, Noibat. Other bat. Gimkle coins. This is just a big stone, right? There's nothing on the top. Nope. Nothing except the chance of getting struck by lightning. Ah! 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 Camera ups, boink. Yeah, we're going down here. Hey, Dragon Knight. Let me actually kill that. That might actually give a shit ton of experience points. Not that much. Ooh, this is a Terra type Dragon Knight. A Terra Dragon Knight. That is kind of flex, boy. These script skills. There's 
nothing on these cliffs. Okay, time to go back to the front. Okay, um, maybe something on this platform. No. And up here. Nope. You're good. Take this one on. In the bees knees. Ghost. Ah, it's fine. It should be fine. Or not. Attack order. Dragon breath. Higher level stab might actually be better. Yeah. Big buzz. Big skilly big. Okay, energy has begun. it off, right? Yep. Do I have Vespaquin? Okay. 
catch it. We'll see if I have Vesp Quinn yet. Yeah, it looks like I already had Vesper Queen. Hey, a free bottle cap. All charge. Anything worth here? No. Five XP candy SM and L. Cypher, what is this? Uh, this is uh, Mimikyu. I don't really give much shit about that. Regular Halucha, never mind. <sighs> Crap. Now nah, we didn't explore this area entirely. Because this is where I originally climbed up to the place and then I went up there. Where we found some items, and I said, no, we're not going this way yet. Okay. Means so we're heading back to the other side, in the hope that we run into a trainer. Thank you. 
for some more items. Anything is fine. This brings us back to the front. Sphere. East Providence, Area 3. I think that's it. <coughs> Puri Falls. I think we did the best we can with exploring for a while. Blew up all my Pokemon. Would be nice. I'm still missing a person here, but I don't know who. this one up yet. Elixir. Yeah, color me slightly annoyed that I can't find this one extra trainer. doesn't appear until later. Got you at the Fury Falls.
somewhere behind this lacking. Didn't pay enough attention. No, we've been up here. No, that's a walking Pokemon, so that's not a person. Fuck you. This is really not cool. This is gonna eat at me. I'm gonna be like, I'm not leaving until I find it. Area one again. Where can be? Indeed. I don't even know where I am right now. Area one. Oh, I guess you already didn't pay enough attention again. When does you already pay enough attention to be exact? He never does. Yeah. If that's really it, I guess I'll come back another time. Yeah, let's just, uh, head to the school, yo. do that post game over to Naranja <sighs> gotta grab my phone with all the details gotta do all the tests gotta open my notices gotta open this 
You know what we're doing? Actually, since it's nighttime, let's go to the schoolyard first. What's up, Yordi? Life. Yep, that's my name. Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Director! Whatever. Do you apologize for deceiving you with my disguise? I wasn't deceived. Truth, the boy you knew as Kai was none other than the director of Narasha Academy, Mr. Cavill. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. So now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. Mate, the first moment I met you, I already knew who you were. Must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. That's impossible. Honest to goodness. You heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off uh, using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. So Master, you already know, you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown. No, you're not. You're not the real boss, you're way too old. Team Star, with this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Fight. Off lane. I mean, that's actually kind of a scary move against me with my fucking 200 plus uh, attack. Gyarados, Gyarados. Should be fine, right? Gyarados just seems. Uh... Oh. Icicle Crash! Ha! The opponent flinched and couldn't move. Oh, Bomber Snow! Govillion, it's your turn. I haven't used you at all, but uh, time for flamethrower boy. Snow warning, it started to snow. Geist switch into Almighty. Still be able to kill Pulti guys. I'll switch out afterwards. Almighty was burned. Almighty took burn damage. Shadow bone. That actually kind of hurt. Mungus. Yeah, it would have been great if I could still use that guy. Uh, we can use Spook and use Play Rough from that. Oh no, wait. Amungus is poison. You're, you're not very intelligent today. No. So my only option was still. 
boost is not that strong, so we're just gonna Phantom Force. stopped. Should have used uh, Vilan, score Vilan. Hex, ah, suck it. You thought you could uh, hit me with Hex, eh, bitch? Well, how about this? Skeledurge. Should be easy. Skeledurge is, uh, wait. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> to think I, Caspiopia, would be backed into a corner like this. Oh. Yeah. Um, hmm. Bite? It's a ghost type very well. It seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. Uh, this might actually kill me. My dragon type might actually die for this. Well, unless it is, I am ice dragon type, right? So. Well, we'll see. He's no longer ghost type now. I learned that he's a ghost type. So. Oh. Oh, 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 uh, Do I risk it? No, we're not risking it. We're going for Dragon Claw. Flinching right on time, yo. Now we're just going to go pure Dragon and now Flamethrower won't do shit to me. Dragon didn't kill. Do take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. Torch song. Not very effective. Did hurt, though. Special tech rose. Thermal exchange! Okay, so the other one does raise attack, and he, then we have the one that raises special attack. The cat is best, if you ask me, because she raises... Uh, she always crits. How strong you have grown. So now you're gonna tell me that you're not actually Caspiopia, right? Because I don't believe shit. Well done, Master Yordi. Seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Caspiopia. No shit, bro. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. No shit. Caspiopia's true identity remains hidden. Don't trust this game. You were right! No shit! <laughs> but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That's why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrow should not be yours to bear. However, Caspiopia has settled on a course of action and, it is, and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Caspiopia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out, you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance of saving that poor kid, child, it is surely you. I didn't open, Zillar. Don't try and trick me. You know I can look into my own cam and see that it's not open, right? But please, defeat Caspiopia, take on the big boss, and win. I made you look. No, you didn't. 
do there? What do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Kelvil. I come here to investigate a report of an insolent battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself facing off one of your students, no less. What were you thinking? Yeah, but I didn't actually look behind me, though. Ah, uh, no, if I could just explain, you see, it's rather sad to... Oh, spare me, your excuse is really worse than a skunkies behind. A skunkies behind? Um... Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Master Yordi. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once, and I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no. Anything but that, I implore you. I'll tell Lizzie about this, then Lizzie will decide. Okay, he opened me up, so we're going uh, to the schoolyard. After that, we're gonna do the classes. No, not to be a bully. I ain't no bully, yo. Yordi. Thanks for coming. It is Penny all along! This must be quite a shock for you. No, it wasn't actually. I figured already. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. So the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there is a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology to Miss Time uh, had, uh, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. Voice. You, Clive. Penny, so it was you after. Ah, no, I mean. That you, Cassiopeia, in the flesh. If task for you, Clive, if you will accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, ok, will do. Yordi D. Bully. Ah. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. As only level 5 Pokemon, that would be hilarious. Embryon! Baxcalibur! I won't hold back in this battle, I'll stay true to Team Star's code. 4062, high school crash. Baby go wise, this is not Penny's not the founder either. <laughs> no, Penny is actually the founder, I'm pretty sure. Dark Pulse! Penny is not the founder, I'm calling it right now. So, Zillar, if Penny is the founder, you're gonna send me your address so I can send you a copy of Pokemon Violet. <laughs> Flareon, is she using a full team of evolutions? Oh yeah, true, we still need to include Lizzie. Um... I'm fire and ground. I'm fire and grass, so I should just go stomp and ground on this. That would be fucking dope if she's using full team of evolutions.
Vaporeal, we'll just Giga Drain that. I could use Lizio though for that. But Giga Drain is more fun. Baby Dual Eyes again, but this is a special attack, bitch. Next is most likely Jolteon, right? On a Leafeon. Burn it with fire. Big scissor. Critical hit. Jolteon. Do I stay in? I shouldn't take a lot of damage. Oh wait, no, you have pin missile. Um, what else do we have that's good against Jolteon? We can use that. You know what, we're sending in my dragon. She has Sylveon uh, as her final Pokemon. We're uh, switching back out again. Thunder! Please don't paralyze, that would be very annoying, thanks. Dragon Claw. <laughs> Fucking baby doll eyes, yo! And paralyzed, that's great. At least we can finish uh, Jolteon off. Fucking Sylveon, really? <sighs> Gigaton hammered the shit out of that. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. I wonder the boss fell at your hands. Time to terrestrialize, shine bright like the starry sky, and become who you really want to be. Listen up, girl Lee. I'm just gonna fucking hammer right on top of your face. Like this. Evolution team, I love that. <laughs> it's all over now. Oh my, It's finally over, guys. It's done. One and a half year ago. We're done here. I think we should call quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Ty Operation Star. Now everything's gone out of hand. Yeah, well that's what happens when you round a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make them um, show learning them some manners. We didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't even didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intentions to battle tooth and nil should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. It was bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Outfits must have spoken... spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink out of what went down, and they... all ended up leaving the Academy. Our plans backfired epically. There is no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right, this little stunt might have put us... Up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. 
so I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. But yeah, what about you? I can go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we've never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Trithi, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Yordi. You took life. Glad I could see this through to the end. Guess this is it for Team Star, and me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you. Check what? I resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star. Wasn't there any other way to deal with this? I tried telling the boss that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them to do all the stuff, but I could never order them to. So, inspected the code again once again. Bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband them. Because the bosses would do anything the code required them to. Even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus, the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're... they're my greatest treasure. Exactly like they all said. Splendid. Thank you for uprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it. The old geezer act life, you're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity! Haha! <laughs> -ha! Director Clavel? Just as Chaosiopia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their minds to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the Academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Ahem, uh -huh. well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Cute. This this falls way more in the balance of, like, your teen, ten-year-old kid, right? Huh? Yo, big boss, low, long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Ellie. Fairly is thy long hidden countenance a sight for Thor eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How long have you been. How have you been this whole time? Poor T. Found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Ari. Okay. Count of three. Hasla Vistar. And hello, Betty! <laughs> um. Now, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academia, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still... I mean, why? You all told me about your reason for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first day as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and the threats to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. 
Does that mean what I think it means? And the Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Ooh, Penny, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, well, my heart is giddily with glee, but I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Cavill told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we've ever chucked the team just because someone told us to. After all, ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry to make you worry about worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so. Hold on everyone, I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement of Steam start to this band has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled banners to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your pro trace torrency, your brazen customization of uni school uniforms and authorized uses of academy equipment, your reckless modification of jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Ah. <sighs> Thus, as punishment, I will all require you will all be inquired to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I will be asking you to manage the CTC STCs. And that stands for the Star Trading Centers. They shall be fa uh, facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainer talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Masiori battling his way through your bases. Basis construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would like to ask you to continue your team activities but henceforth as STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no. It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true, we should most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We're already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. It's be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. What do you think? Think it sounds great? Uh, but, um, I just... I need to give your response right to this moment, Miss Penny. You take time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Uh, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it's time to leave. Masiori, please stop by my office later, if you would. Go to the director's office. Yeah, we'll go to the director's office first, and then we're gonna study. Right, guys? I need to study. I need to learn. Ah, there you are, Masiori. I want to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincerest gratitude. Knock, knock. Knock. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. Hello, Director. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, uh, I, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, no, not because of that. No, not that. Because of... The other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know... The LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got a hold of it uh, legally by hacking the Pokémon League LP management system. Ah, I see. That is quite a revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that... I, I mean, I'm really sorry. I won't do it again. Mm. This matter is rather... Rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll consult with Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Masiori, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. 
Didn't I just come here because you want to give me something? Are you making me leave again? 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 Can I go back in? Can I now talk to you again? And do we get good thing? Uh, apparently not. Apparently you're just a butthole. Okay, entrance hall. We're gonna do all the chatty chats. Gotta do all the classes, which is gonna take a long time. Well, maybe not. Maybe this next one is only in, like, one or two classes. We'll never know until we try. Biology with Mr. Jacques! Now don't be tardy, Mr. Jacques. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. You all did great with your midterm, uh, great on your midterms. Thanks for answering my little question at the end, too. I'll be sure to keep your response in mind. All right, we're now heading into the last half of our class together. This time, our knowledge to evolve and grow just like our Pokemon. Evolution. Yep. Haha, <laughs> evolution. Today, we're going to learn about the fantastic phenomenon of Pokemon evolution. As you Pokemon battle and level up, they learn moves and get stronger. And for some Pokémon, once they level up enough, their appearance changes and their stats increase, sometimes by a lot. That's Pokémon evolution. Because Pokémon beca Pokemon become very strong when they evolve, making them trusty partners in battle. But some people prefer to keep their Pokémon in their adorable pre-evolved state. To do this, you, need, you just need to remember a certain button when your Pokémon begins to evolve. The B button! Write it down. B button to cancel evolution. Or the button you want when you need to stop a Pokemon from evolving is the B button. If you press this button as soon as the Pokemon begins to evolve, you can stop it from changing. You can also let the Pokemon hold an Everstone. Or hold an Everstone. And keep in mind that the requirements for evolutions differ from Pokémon to Pokémon. Some may evolve by having certain items, such as Firestones, Thunderstones, or a specific move. By level, stone have a specific move. Or use... Moves like Prime Ape needs to use Rage Fist 20 times. The way Prime Ape evolves into Annihilate is especially strange. You see, there's a certain move that. Oh, yeah, he's gonna tell us that next time. Oops, sorry. Looks like we're out of time. I guess we'll have to end the class here today. Thanks for paying attention. I already knew this due to looking it up. Or at least paying attention to videos on YouTube because people are too fast with putting shit out. Biology! <laughs> Don't be tardy now. Hello, hello! Found out about it somehow, and I got yelled at. Oops. Apparently he could tell I was hiding something by just looking at me. He must have noticed all the color flush right out of my face. Speaking of color, today I'd like to teach you all about colors as they pertain to Pokémon. Some Pokémon have diff slightly different colorations or patterns on their body based on their gender or individuality. Uh, we knew that. Pokémon can have different... Gender or the same individual individuality. In very rare cases, Pokémon may have wildly different coloration compared to the others of the same species. We call these speci specimens shiny Pokémon. 
tiny may look really different. It is quite rare to cross path with one. Does anyone know here know what the likelihood of finding a po shiny Pokemon is? It's one in four thousand. Finding one is one in four thousand. Shiny Pokemon will appear at a rate in one in four thousand. Isn't that amazing? The probability of encountering one in the wild is the same as hatching one from an egg too. Eggs from a pair of Pokemon raised around different languages are our special case. Uh, talking about the Masuda F... Uh, eggs... Masuda... Uh, can't remember what the second word was. Well, oh, smart. We haven't been able to figure out why that is just yet. I've also heard rumors of a charm that increases your likelihood to find shiny Pokémon when you have it in your back. Can you believe that? This claim can't be scientifically verified, but it sure would be fun if it were true. Also, shiny charm. Don't you just... This is what I really like, though, that they're like going all out on teaching you everything there is to Pokémon in these classes. It makes the school thing kind of fun. Biology. Yes. <laughs> Next time we meet, we'll have our final exam. That means today is our last actual class. And the topic for this last class will be Pokemon forms. You think you can just think of forms and it's the shapes or appearances that Pokemon have. There are also phenomena called form change, where Pokemon's appearances change under certain circumstances. Can change forms under certain sur um, circumstances. Silazar, for example, which we regularly ride on as transportation here in Paldea, has three forms. First is its basic form, where it walks on four legs. Second is a battle form, where it stands on its hind legs to engage battle. Finally, there is its right form, where it inflates its throat sac and its tail so we can ride on its back. Though we can use something you, you're all carrying with you now. As an even better example, yep, I'm talking about your phones. Some smartphones are inhabited by a certain Pokémon. Does anyone know that the Pokémon I'm referring to, Rotom? Three forms. Battle. Travel. And writing. Rotom. Pepper. Phone. The Pokemon inside your smartphone is Rotom, and it does all sorts of things to help you out. A Rotom inside a phone, a Rotom phone is special, so it doesn't try to enter other electronics. An ordinary Rotom, however, can change form by drinking washing machines, microwaves, burn all its forms. Not our electronic a, 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 a little a rotomous bits of an exception though. Many Pokemon that change forms do so simply by holding an item or having one use on them. Normally form change by item or holding item. Oracoria, for example, has four different forms it can change between when given certain nectar. You may even change type or learn different moves when they change form. I already know this. 
Form changes are different from evolution in that the Pokémon can return to its original form. Unlike shiny Pokémon, which can change their individual coloration, the same individual Pokémon can go back and forth between its forms. There's also a lot to dig into with this form change phenomenon, as you can see. We can all learn something from Pokémon here, don't you think? Bit of stretch, but... Be happy to see you all enjoy your time at the Academy to its fullest and change form into a new version of yourself. Or something like that. I almost forgot. Regional forms which vary based on what region a Pokémon came from doesn't don't change like other forms. They're an innate. All forms are innate. Oops, <laughs> bells there. Guess I was scatterbrained, Mr. I was scatterbrained, Mr. Jacques, right up to the very end, hey? I had a great time teaching all of you. I hope you'll do your best on the final exam. Okay, that finishes, oof. Mr. Jacques, we just need to finish the final. Today's your final exam and we'll cover everything I've taught you so far, but I'm sure you all do just fine. Take your time and contemplate each question carefully. How many of the following four methods makes it easier to catch a Pokémon? Infect paralysis, surprise from behind, feed the berry. Three. Wait, is that a trick? Poketoy. True or false, you can get a new Pokémon only by catching them yourself or trading with other trainers. False. Evolution. If a Pokémon is holding an Everstone, will using an item that induces evolution such as Firestone cause to evolve? No. Uh, one in four thousand. Or false. The Pokemon known as Oracorio has three forms. As false as four. This question won't affect your grade. Do any? Do you have anything you would like to say about my class? I'm still getting used to this teaching thing. It was fun. Don't tell the director again. Okay, please tell me I nailed it and didn't fail it like a dink. The last questions were actually kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, phew. Four out of five. Damn, that was actually... Um, kind of hard. Let's go do math. No, I don't know if the first question was the one that I got wrong, or the one with uh, the evolution stones. Hello everyone, well done on the midterm exam. Some of you earned perfect scores and others seem to have a bit of trouble, but I can tell that you all tried your best. I'm quite pleased to say that every last one of you passed. You can only assume that this means you have come to love numbers. No. Stay sharp and try your best for the rest of my class too. Speaking of staying sharp, you know how that word applies to Pokémon battles. That's right, it has to do with the stat boosts. A Pokémon's stats can rise and fall through the course of battle, correct? Yeah. Workup is an... Its attack and special attack stats will rise by... One stage each. 
As you may know, each time a Pokémon's attack and special attack raised one stage, moves affected by that stat will deal 50% more damage. Okay, so... Um, stages... Stat boost stages is an increase of 15%. More damage than something I didn't know. If that same Pokémon from our previous example were to use Work Up again, both its attack and special attack will have risen by two stages total, will result in a hundred percent increase to the damage dealt, making the move twice as strong. Sword Dance, on the other hand, boosts attack by two stages at once, allowing the Pokémon to use to deal double damage after just single use. Using Sword Dance twice would boost the Pokémon stat by four stages. How much more damage? Then, with this Pokémon deal. Uh, first, so it's triple, right? Yeah. Each stage that a Pokémon's attack and special attack raises increases its damage by 50%, so raising four stages 200% increase. The base damage of Moon set is 100%, so adding almost 200k points, almost there! Still don't really know what to do, what to put extra in there. That won't be a pain in my ass. Next move, the Pokémon uses will deal triple damage. Type matchup, critical, hit damage, and other factors all play into these calculations as well. So even smokes must be taken seriously. By the way, if a stat simply rose, that means it has gone up by one stage. Uh, rose is one stage. Sharply is two stages. Oh. Um. Clean. Two stages and drastically is three. I didn't even know there was a uh, oo woo redemption. You want me to oo woo? <laughs> three stages. I didn't even know there was a rose drastically. The X and XP attack items, which can only be used in battle, can be used to sharply boost those respective stats. Okay. So, X items... X items give sharply... You can have like a 10k one time per stream, ooh, redemption. Ooh woo! Ooh woo! Zilla, I'm kind of surprised that you're interested in that. <laughs> Ooh woo! Welcome back to Mrs. Time. Did you make sure to review last class material in order to stay sharp? I know it was a little difficult with all the talk of multiplications and percentages like that, but today we'll be talking about percentage again to learn about probability. That may sound like we're going to have another difficult class, but did you know that all of you already deal with probability on a regular basis? I'm just trying to think of stuff that is not too much of a pain in the ass. <laughs> I am full of surprises. I mean, it is not too much of a pain in the ass, that's true. Pokémon moves generally have a property called accuracy, which determines the probability that they will hit. Accuracy of tackle is 100% or 100%, so it will. if you were to use tackle 100 times, you could expect it to hit all 100 times. The move Hypnosis, which puts Pokémon to sleep, has an accuracy of 60, 60%. 60 that means you could expect it to hit 60 times in 100 uses. To put that the other way, out of 100 uses, you could expect it to miss 40 times. Many of the truly powerful moves often tend to have lower accuracy, so when you're deciding whether to go slow and steady with moves or sure to hit or hard and fast with poke stronger but less accurate moves, you're already studying probability. Let me see here, perhaps Surf and Hydro Pump would be a good example for this discussion. Surf has a power of 90, its accuracy is 100, meaning you can expect it to hit 
every time. Hydro Pump accuracy is only 80, but it hits. When it hits, its power is 110. So between Surf and Hydro Pump, which move would you want to use? It depends on the situation. Oh my, see so you are always considering various possibilities, Jordi. May have made it sound like there was a correct answer here, but there's not. You're free to use any move you wish. Factors like PP and numbers, number of targets hit may make some moves more suited to certain situations. However, trading accuracy for power or vice versa is purely a matter of preference. The surface hydroplunk debate has been ongoing for quite some time. Personally, I'm more invested in debating rock type moves. Rock slide and stone edge. Let me tell you, I could get really worked up talking about those moves, but oh my, there's the bell. What a shame. Next class will be the last of our time together, so show up 100% ready to go. Okay, last class of math, and then we go into the finals. And then we're going to talk to all the teachers. Last time we learned about probabilities and using more accuracy as an example. Probability is quite an interesting subject. Did you know that in a class with 40 students, there is a 90% chance that two of them will have the same birthday? 90% chance? Bullshit! This is true even despite the fact that there are over 300 days each year. Isn't that remarkable? But let's move on to today's topic before we get swept along with probability again. I've been teaching you all how to calculate damage in this class, using examples like type matchup, critical hits and stat boosts, and the like. All these variables are multiplied together to calculate damage dealt to an opponent. However, did you know that there is an even simpler way to increase the damage of your Pokémon's moves? All you have to do is have your Pokémon use the move it shares its type with! Okay, stab. We're talking about stab. Stab. If a Rock-type Pokémon uses a Rock-type move, the move base power of 100 is multiplied by 1.5, it becomes 150. Is a... is 1.5. I figured I should have known that already, but, you know. Ground and Rock may seem like similar types, but if a Ground-type Pokémon uses Stone Edge, the move power will remain 100. Super effective moves and critical hits also add multipliers onto this little numerical increase. So it's almost certainly must... It's most certainly must not be taken lightly. I ask you a question to see if you understand what I'm talking about here. Say you have a move with a hundred... power of a hundred. If Pokémon that shares a type with this move uses it and hits an opponent that is weak to that type, what happens to the move power? Oh shit. Um... So, super effective moves double, so it should be 300, right? Yeah, so, this is this is actual math, right? I'm not really good at actual math. So you first do uh, times 1.5, which, and then you do times 2. And after that comes the critical, and after that, the other things, I guess. First using a move that shares a type, but its user multiplies the base move by 1.5, making it 150. The fact that the opponent is weak to the move type then doubles that power to 300. The original power of the move ends up being tripled, isn't that amazing? What's more, if a Pokémon Terrestrialized and its Terror type matches one of its original types, then the bonus it gets for using a move of the same type is in okay. Uh, first stab bonus, then weakness bonus. So, hundreds times. 1.5 is 150. 
then times 2 is 300 um, terrorist lies changes stat to 2 Of course, being able to use a lot of moves with different types is great as well. That's one way you can surprise your opponent. In the end, your own innate characteristics are what will really let you shine the most. Bear in mind that this is true for both humans and Pokemon. It sure would make me happy if you could take those words to heart. But I suppose I should really have shared this basic advice right from our first mission. My apologies. Okay, time to go do... Uh... The final exam! <laughs> Math finals. Yes. Alright everyone, it's time to begin our final exam! I'm sure the fun experience you all had in my class will serve you well as you answer. How many Great Balls could you purchase uh, with 3,000 if... 5. How many Great Balls could you purchase, right? If Water-type move is with a power of 100, lands critical hit on Grass-type Pokemon, what... Uh, crit comes after, so first it's halved, so it's 50, so it's, crits are 1.5, so it's 75. Under normal conditions, what percent chance does Stone Edge have to land a critical hit? Four percent? percent If Pokémon use Sword Dance twice to boost its attack by four stage, how much damage will its physical move then do? Triple. Yeah, four stages. Yeah. If Rock type Pokémon whose Terror type is Rock Terror Stellation, what will the power of its Rock type moves be multiplied by two? Do you ask about your scores in the front at the front desk? Damn, which one did I make fuck up this time? <sighs> I don't know. I want to know which one I fucked up. <laughs> Ah, uh, time to do history with Ryfort! <laughs> Greetings, my little students. Whatever you did yesterday is now part of history. So hoping to continue unraveling the math marvels that history has presented to us today. However, I imagine your ability to concentrate has been spectacularly derailed by my midterm. I suppose changing things up for fun and variety may be a good idea every now and then. So allow me to tell you an old fairy tale that has been passed down in Poldea for generations. Once upon a time, there was a king who very much enjoyed collecting treasure. Wait, didn't we talk about this one already? He was particularly fond of treasure from other countries. One day a merchant from the east heard rumors of this king and came to meet him. The merchant laid out four treasures in front of the treasure-loving king. The four treasures were as follows, a vessel, a sword, a set of tablets, and a set of beads. Seeing such rarity before him, the king leaped for joy. He showed the merchant 
showered the merchant with gold coins and claimed all four of the treasures for himself. Ah, perfect time to make eye contact, young Yordi. Answer me this. I said that one of the treasures was a set of tablets. What do you think these tablets were? Planks for writing on it. Handheld. Uh, these, I guess. Correct! Your daily pursuit of knowledge serves you well. These particular tablets were wooden and used as reading medium in the East in ancient times. As you may know, they fell out of popularity popular use as paper become more in universal ava universal available for the king to consider these paper substitutes treasures they must have been superb quality that or perhaps they had some amazing profound teachings written on them obtain these fear of these four treasures and on that very night it is said that a terrible disaster rained down upon his castle reducing it to rubble by dawn well that's great Oh, is that the time already? I wasn't done with my story, but alas, so ends my lesson today. I feel like I can remember that one. I don't have to write that down. What is after history language? Not language, yeah, language. Greetings, my little students. Whatever you did yesterday is now part of history. Today we will continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. I trust that you all remember our lesson before the midterm exam concerning the great crater of Polia and its interior, Area Zero. This mysterious crater captured the imagination of many, including the former Paldean Emperor. 200 years ago, a group of explorers claimed to have finally reached its depths. The name of the team that achieved this great feat was Area Zero Expedition. Okay, I do think I need to write that one down. Area Zero Expedition 200 years ago reached the depths. The team is said to have been made up of Paldea's best and brightest. Skilled battlers, brilliant researchers, talented individuals of all kinds. Long the list of team members was the name of a man who was an author and brilliant natural historian, Heath. Heath. Famous. After returning from the expedition to Area Zero, the expedition to Area Zero, he used his literary talent to record the events, the expedition, and publish them. Perfect timing to make eye contact, young Yordi. Let's see if you were paying attention. What was the name of the team that first made the deepest reach of this one? Expedition. Correct, you pick up on... Uh, to pick up and remember a term I simply slipped into the flow of a lecture. You really are quite the clever one. Bro, I've gone to school long enough to know how to actually pay attention in class. A correct name for this team was the Area Zero Expedition. The record of the activities written by the expedition member Heath can be found in the bookstores and the like even today. His record is now known as the Scarlet Book. Uh, it would have been fun if I actually... Heath wrote... Is called the Scarlet Book. I bet in Violet it's called the Violet Book. <laughs> At the time, the entire region of Poldea was absolutely buzzing about Area Zero. Scarlet Book was so popular that practically everyone had a copy. However, the book itself was full of fast, fantastical descriptions, illustrations of things that could never be thought as real. The mass began to call Heath a liar. Even the truth of the expedition making it to the bottom of the crater was called into question. The Scarlet Book was condemned to the shelves for used bookstores as just another book of wild paranormal stories. There's a copy on one of the bookshelves on the ground floor of the entrance hall. Feel free to have a read if you're interested. Oh, is the time up already? The Scarlet Book is what uh, Arvin used for the... Herbal Mythicas, Mythicals, whatever it's called.
Greetings, my little students. Whatever you did yesterday is now part of history. Today is our last class, so I would like to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us one last time. In our last class, I taught you about Area Zero Expedition of 200 years ago, correct? Alas, 200 years is not that long ago. Not that long at all. How fortunate that our history lessons must march so inexorably for the future. Would it not be more of an adventure to march towards the past instead? To start from our present and start the history in reverse? Wait, I don't think I understand that one. That might be hard to follow. I think it would! So you agree with me, do you already? However, I'm afraid I risk incurring the wrath of our dear director if I stray from the curriculum. I suppose I have no choice but to let the flow of time carry us towards the future. In this last class farce, I shall fill your minds with the history of the terrestrial phenomenon. The technology behind Terra Orbs has its origin in Area Zero. Even after Area Zero's expedition supposedly reached the crater's deep steps, others continue to explore that area. And about 140 years ago... 140 years... 140 years... ago Pokemon cloaked in mysterious light were discovered there the terrestrialized Pokemon were found however when those who discovered these Pokemon brought them out of Area Zero the light faded and the terrestrial phenomenon remained a mystery for quite some time okay after, um, out of area zero, they became normal. However, ten years ago, might as well be present day, a certain someone you have definitely heard of unraveled this mystery. Ten years ago, they figured out how to terrestrialize them. Outside zero. <sighs> ah, perfect time to make eye contact, young Yordi. Answer me this: What is the name of the famous professor who unraveled the Tesseros A phenomenal mystery? Is that the one and only? Oh no, not language. ASAP. Uh, I think it's Sada, right? It, sh it should be Sada. Okay, Sada. Figured it out. Okay, good to know. You, a new transfer student to our academy, could correctly answer this question. How are you doing today, Sep? You must be very dil diligent in your studies. I inside our rubble mysteries of the terrestrial phenomenon. She discovered that the shining crystals down in Area Zero, or rather the energy they emit, is what causes Pokemon to rationalize. This led to the professor to invent Terra Orb technology and develop a particular use for them. This technology was then shared with both the Pokémon League and our Academy. Rumor has it that the Director Cavill was one of the research on the Professor's team. Alas, the story is much less exciting now that someone we all know appears in it. Modern history truly is dull, isn't it? Seppi! History Finals, Mrs. Ryford. How is the strange school interaction going? It's uh, going okay, I guess. I haven't failed a single final yet, so... Greetings, my students. What is the area within cra a Great Crater of Paldea called? Area Zero. How many years ago was the Academy founded? 805, I think, right? Yeah, 805. He is working on asking out women, which is not that often for Seppi. Ooh, good luck, dude. If these did not appear in the Paldean fairy tale about the forced treasures, tablet, vessel, a folding fan. Which Area Zero expedition member wrote uh, Heath? How many years ago did Professor Sada invent the Terra Orbs? Ten years ago. 
Your time's up. Okay, interesting sep. Good luck with that, my dude. Okay, let's see, did we get all? Yeah, we got five out of five this time. Woohoo! Okay, time to do language. With Salvatore, the dip shit. I really don't want to write everything down, but I'm gonna forget otherwise, most likely. We'll see, it kind of depends on what the subjects are. How did you like the mid my how did you like the midterm exam? Did you all you all did really great? We're halfway there, and now time for another lesson. Are you ready? Yes! Great answer. Merci, my friends. I knew I could count on you stars. Leading up to the midterm, we learned all sorts of words from different regions. Starting today though, I'll be throwing a curveball. We will begin listening. Before we begin listening comprehension. Vasi, go for it, my assistant. Pika, pee Pikachu. It fuck Pikachu. As you just heard, Pokemon can also use words to communicate. It's not all—it's not always easy for us to understand them, but their words have meaning, just as ours do. Pokemon can use language to share all kinds of information with each other, like the location of food or whether there are there may be predators nearby. The same Pokemon cries may sound different depending on what it wants to say. I'm sure you're all curious, so today, that is, let's learn some Pokemon language. If you would be so kindly, Pikachu. Pika! What emotion do you suppose Pikachu was trying to convey? Happiness? Sorry, you're, that's not quite right. Pokemon language is hard, isn't it? And Pikachu says, Pika! It's using an angry voice. I can barely hear it, so fuck that. That's right, I had my little Pikachu friend here pretend to be angry for us. Pika is angry with the GG. Don't you think he did a great job? Give Pikachu a round of applause, everyone. Clapping. Salvatore, you suck ass. The same Pokemon can even communicate its feelings in many different ways. Their voice changes depending on their mood and physical condition. Try listening more carefully to Pokémon, you might gain a deeper understanding for them. That having been said, Pokémon are quite mysterious creatures. Some actually don't communicate with words at all, but instead use things like electromechanics or ultrasonic waves. Some even use telepathy. And now, a pros of nothing. Let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. If you're if you poke at your Pokémon too many times while washing them during picnics, they'll get mad at you, like Pikachu just demonstrated. Okay. Language sucks. Expect no less from my excellent friends. Even your replies to my questions are excellent. Yordi is uh, fighting very hard. Pikachu! As you may remember from our last class, the same Pokemon cries may sound different depending on what it wants to say. We will be learning more about Pokemon la about the language used by Pokemon. If you would be so kind, Pika. Mm -hmm. It sounds a little bleak, doesn't it? Its voice seems a little lower pitched too. What emotion are you suppose trying to convey? Sadness. Ding ding ding. Pika! Yeah, I know. I won't overdo it. Don't you think it did a great job? Give him a. With that being said, I won't be streaming tomorrow and most likely won't be streaming Friday and Saturday either. With a bit of luck, I'll be live Saturday, but uh, if everything, if I need to, like, my desk comes in on Friday, right? Or we're gonna get my desk on Friday. 
So there might be a high chance that I need to reset up everything. Uh, so there's a big chance that Jordi can't actually stream. But yeah, I'm not overdoing myself, Sep. I uh, couldn't actually, like, do nothing today, or... I just won't really want to play Pokémon. So I had to go live early. My dear friends, how are you all today? It's the last of Salvatore's language lessons. Are you ready? We Listening lesson. My assistant. Pikachu! Let's get right to it, my little Pikachu friend. For our last listening class, tell everyone how you're feeling right now. Cha! You feel that? That's one contagious emotion in Pikachu's voice. What, po what emotion do you suppose Pikachu's trying to convey? Happiness! Well done, Yordi. I'm so happy that you got it right. Haha, <laughs> get it? Pichu says... It's expressing happiness. Doesn't it make you just want to break out in a happy dance? But I didn't have to ask Pichu to put on an act today. Oh no, I simply asked it to show you all how it felt about having to have a class with you. Getting to meet so many new friends and study together in this class with you. It made both me and my little Pikachu very happy. And now, a pros of nothing, let me give you all one last wise word of advice. As you live your lives, I'm sure you will all have times when you get mad or sad, maybe even more than you would like. Everything has its ups and downs. Life is a virtual roller coaster. But in the end, that is, there's surely happiness waiting for you. Keep a smile on your face, even in the hardest times. you're faced with a problem that you can't handle alone, find someone to rely on. It's teacher, your family, your friends, anyone. Our pro chain course, next lesson, will be our final exam. Okay, I'm glad we don't have to deal with Salvatore anymore. Okay, let's see if we can get uh, uh, all the answers correct. <clears throat> Which of the following means delicious? Delicious. Gracia, merci, thank you. What do these two foreign phrases mean? I love you. Pika! That is anger. Cha! That is happiness. What is your beloved teacher's name? Salvatore. Thing about that girl I'm trying to woo, she's nearly my height, like really tall. Assume the obligatory gave you no trouble. Should have made said that name incorrectly on purpose. <laughs> uh, but it might not have actually given me the health if I did that wrong. Later, at least. How tall is really tall? How tall are you, Sep? And high heels, I'm looking up at her. Battle studies shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> I like that. I was most I was most my life going for small and cute. Resume a regular class today, so keep up that energy for the second half of the term. Have you all been using the Arbath and send out your Pokémon? If you do, your Pokémon will run off in the direction you're facing. It's a super useful tactic that lets your Pokémon pick up faraway items for you. That's not all. If there's a wild Pokémon near there, near where you sent your Pokémon, they'll start battling each other. We call those battles auto-battles. 
Just remember, the name implies your Pokémon will act on its own during out battles, meaning you won't have to give it any commands. And if your Pokémon wins, it'll get experience points, just like with a regular battle. If you make good use of these battles, they can be a very efficient way to train your party. But you want to remember that Pokémon won't evolve or learn new moves right away if they level up from out of battle. Also, if a Pokémon loses an out of battle, it'll come back with just a small amount of its HP left. Make sure to heal it up right away. Whoops, I just about did the whole class as a one-sided lecture. Does anyone have any questions so far? How do I stop an auto battle? Putting an auto battle once it starts, you'll have to wait and see how it plays out. You can call your Pokémon off before the battle starts through pressing ZR while your Pokémon is still on its way to the opponent. Seppi is 181. See him tall on. Remember, your starch rules doesn't apply. You guys are too tall. But I'm... Wait, I don't actually remember how tall I am. The last time I checked it was around 187. Uh... Oh well. SQ! Pokemon are out. They're battling for us, their trainers. Keep an eye on them as much as possible, and if it looks like they're going to lose, be sure to have them retreat. Also, this goes without saying, but Pokemon with low HP are already worn out. They probably won't enjoy auto battles as much as... So don't work them too hard, okay? In conclusion, how do battles only work if a trainer and their Pokémon have a relationship of mutual trust? Be smart with how you use out of battles so you don't lose the trust of your Pokémon. Oh man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home. But I guess we've run out of time as usual. Class is over for now. Take care, my little rascals. SQ, how are you today? Okay, so Auto Battles was not that hard, I remember that. Another day, another round of Battle Studios! Let's get right to it! I hope you gave Auto Battles a shot like we talked about last class. Making good use of auto battles will let you train you up a bunch of different Pokémon. Up a bunch of different ah, fuck it. It's also an efficient way to gather the Pokémon materials you need to make TMs at the TM machine. Speaking of which, have you all been using the TM machine? No. Only a few times. I sure hope so, because it's pop quiz time! To create TMs, you need Pokémon materials and one other thing. Anyone know what it is? LP, bitch! Looks like you already a TM machine pro, new kid. I watched 19 episodes of Big Bang Theory. Nice. Correct answer is League Points, or LP for short. You can give LP and Pokémon materials to a TM machine to create TMs, but that's not all. You can also exchange Pokémon materials at the TM machine to get LP. I recently heard about some shady individuals getting LP illegally using a technique called hacking or something like that. I don't want any of you getting involved in bad stuff like that, got it? Lol. Anyway, you can also add TMs that you want to make to your watch list. This will let you keep an eye on the materials you need to gather. In conclusion, in order to make TMs, you need Pokémon materials. And if you want to get a whole lot of materials, you'll have to battle all kinds of Pokémon. Aw oh, man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive home the point. Last over. Big Bang Theory is fun. Battle Studies number six, Ms. Dendra. Ow. I don't know what I did last night, but I wrecked the muscle in my, like, right here. It's not being very nice to me. Much left to teach you. But we can always aim for ever greater heights. So today I'm going to teach you about the rules of Link Battles. When two trainers participate in Link Battles together, they can engage in either single battles or double battles with each other. And if you're playing in a group of four, you can all battle each other in multi-battles. 
Now, when you're out having battles during your independent study, you can use whatever number of Pokémon you like, and they can be any level. But in Link Battles, there are special rules to keep in mind. Some of these special rules involve adjusting Pokémon's levels. Now, the No Restriction rule said it lets all Pokémon stay their current level. It lets trainers use multiple Pokémon of the same species and multiple of the same health item too. Maybe. But if you choose the normal rules, all Pokémon will be set to level 50 for your battles regardless of what level they are. This even includes low-level Pokémon, they'll get a power boost to participate. Normal rules let you use multiples of the same Pokémon species and of the same health item too. The great part about this rule set is that it lets you... lets any Pokémon participate, all they have to do is learn some good moves. Lastly, there's uh, the rule set flat rules. Mostly affects Pokémon over level 50, such as Pokémon can be set to level 50 for duration of the battle. For duration, the flat rules set is the one often used for official tournaments. This rule set does not allow trainers to use multiple Pokémon of the same species or multiple of the same health item. Alright, here's a question for you. Which rule sets should you pick if you want to use a lower or level Pokémon and keep it low level? And keep it low level. Normal rules is... Raised flat rules. That's the one, new kid. Looks like you were listening to the lesson. If you've got some clever strategy that, uh, that you need to use a level 5 Pokémon for, your best bet is to choose a flat rules rule set. <laughs> of course, you can also choose no restrictions if you want to battle with any Pokémon you want, any level and with any held item. That's a pretty good rule set for when you want to battle freely with friends. In conclusion, normal rules adjust all Pokémon to level 50, flat rules let you use lower level Pokémon at their actual level. I hope you'll use these tips for some exciting battles with your friends. Okay, now we're gonna do... Finish up this one. Good evening, Master Yordi. Battle Studies Final! With Miss Dendra. Finally game day. Today is our final exam. Time to put your game face on and do battle with those test cheats. Which cheer boosts attack and special attack for... Uh, allies during go all out? What do we call the battles that Pokemon are sent out with out of battles? How should you obtain LP? Take on gyms, exchange materials, hack the system. High level Pokémon are adjusted to what level when using flat rules? 50. When using normal rules in Link Battle, you can use multiple Pokémon of the same species in multiple. This is true. Time's up, put your pencils down. Easy. Five out of five, bitch! Okay, what's left? We have Home Ek and Art. Home Ek I probably need to write down. Art I don't really have to write down. Probably, maybe. We'll see in a bit. Hello class, it is I, Hassel, yet again. I'm pleased to say that everybody did very well in the midterms exams. As a reward for all of your hard work, we have a special guest visiting us today. Now then, Brassi, please come in. Greetings! Gym leader Brassi. I am Brassius, I am an artist, and I focus exclusively on crash-type Pokémon for my work. 
Gracias here mainly creates three-dimensional pieces such as statues and the like. One of his major works is an installation titled The Surrendering Sunflora found in Artisome. Many of you who've challenged Artisome Jim are no doubt familiar with these sculptures. Yes, I do recognize some faces among your students. I hope you all understand how fortunate you are to be able to attend Hass's class. Old oh, Hass is the man who saved me when I had lost all hope and given up on myself. But he never gave up on me. I do not exaggerate when I say that he is my mentor in life. It is precisely thanks to Hass that I was able to establish my current art style. Ah, dear Brassi. I have nothing against uh, reminiscing about old times, but today I hope you will guide this class in a way only you can. Of course. Let's see, why don't we discuss what has mentioned, surrendering some flora. Can you tell, can anyone here tell what my mood was when I crafted the dead? It's a detached expression, sad. No? No, 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 completely and utterly wrong. When I made that sculpture, I had surrendered all hope. I was prepared to give up everything. I had resolved to give up my life as an artist if that piece did not receive proper recognition. Hence the name Surrendering Some Flora. Dory's Ghost. That's exactly it, Has. Wait, so does that mean none of the answers that I could pick was right? I experienced my heart. Uh, when I started out as an artist, I experienced many hardships. I even became deathly ill and fell into a slump and drove me to desperation. I began worrying only about what would sell. I was concerned only with the fame and fortune. But all of my pieces during this time had no depth. They were all shadow trash. It was then that I met Hass. He helped me realize how petty I was being. I'll spare you the details. But in the end, I was able to leave all of that behind, and that is also when I crafted the Sinflora. Remarkable. Even I did not know the full story until now. This kind of thing is hard to tell someone, especially when they are so close to you. No, I doubt that your adolescents will often find your heads crowded with worries. My advice is you sim to you is simple. Be honest with yourself and do whatever your heart desires. So long as you don't cause trouble, that is. That's all for me. I must admit, I'm beginning to feel a bit embarrassed, so I bid you farewell, Haas. And farewell to your peoples as well. Oh, Brassy, I can't believe it's such a wonderful class. Thanks. Thank you so much! Yeah, I don't think uh, I could have answered that question correctly. Yes, mistress! Hello class, it's I, Hassel, yet again. First, allow me to apologize for losing my composure during our last class. I was so touched by Brescia's story that I simply couldn't contain my emotions. I'm sorry for making such a scene. I certainly got a very stern talk to from Miss Time after the class, yes. Anyway, let us shift gears and dive into the material for today's class. Now, have any of you heard of the Ten Sites of Paldea? Yes, I found one site, at least. As the name would imply, there are ten sites in Paldea that are considered particularly beautiful. Among them, I would say that the Grand Olaf Orchard is likely the most accessible. You can see field after field of trees from the hills on that way to Cortondo. Two waterfalls are also counted among these. The Casaroya Falls and the Fury Falls. We found Fury Falls and Casaroya Falls. There is the peak of Gasolio Mountain, known as the Pal uh, Paldea's highest peak. We haven't found that one yet, I think. It's another cliff on Glaceo the mountain that's named after its rather unique shape. Let me ask you this, my students. What is the name of the three-pronged cliff on Glaceo Mountains? 
Uh, reach, grasp, reach. Nope. A very good guess. I think something reaching would stretch out farther, though. Grasp. Okay. I'm not in the mood to write it down. We'll just have to guess. Its shape is far too stubby to be that of a human hand. I imagine someone thought it looked like a Pokemon hand grabbing something. There's also the mountain in Area 3 of the East Providence, where you can get a good look at Levincia. It's particularly gorgeous at night. In fact, the view is so brilliant, it is known as Million Volt Skyline. I hear it's quite the hotspot for dates, and deservingly so, for having such a romantic view. I imagine it's, do the kids say these days, a very fleek selfie spot. Of course, you may feel that not all 10 sites live up to their grandiose names. Often do we visit some tourist spots only to be disappointed. Not to say that you shouldn't visit them, only that you should keep your hopes in check. The important thing is to go yourself and see them with your own two eyes. And sometimes, a disappointing experience can be worthwhile in, a, in its own way to take a chance. Well, that's it for today's class. Thank you for your attention. Out. I bet I needed to remember all those names, but I'm gonna 100% forget them. But who cares? We'll use our skill. Hello class, it is I, Hassel, yet again. My my, how time flies, as they say, indeed, our time together. Cerning flown by, it's hard to believe that this is our last class. <coughs> now, our topic for today may seem somewhat unrelated to art. It's very cold here, but it's fine. There's absolutely no set des definition as to what art should be. Therefore, let us carry on with the discussion and see where it takes us. There are two things I wish to focus on today. Ribbons and marks. Both ribbons and marks are special honors that capture, that capture Pokemon qualities. There will be times when your Pokemon gives maximum effort or has noteworthy experience. In recognition of its feats and accomplishments, it can be given a ribbon. To give an example, if you manage to become incredibly close to Pokemon, it may be granted the best friend ribbon. Incidentally, there is a person in Kaskarfa can give your Pokemon a best friend ribbon. Marks, on the other hand, are mostly found on wild Pokemon when you meet them for the first time. It can symbolize a character of a Pokemon, such as it with the Rowdy mark or the Vigor mark. It's completely up to luck whether you'll run into a Pokemon with these marks. So if you are able to catch a Pokemon with a mark, rejoice at your outstanding fortune. Does anyone know what special thing you can do with Pokemon that have a ribbon or marked? Uh, you can change their title. Wonderful! Your knowledge is impressive. The correct answer is that the Pokemon with ribbons or marks can be given titles. What's more, they can be sent into battle displaying a title of your choosing. For example, you could send out a Gibble with the best friend ribbon by declaring, Go Gibble, the great friend! And while I know I just said that marks are generally found already on Pokémon when you meet them for the first time, it seems that more recently Pokémon can be awarded certain marks based on their efforts. These are marks such as the Gourmand mark, the Item Finder mark, the Partner mark, and so on. Perhaps it may be fun to try and work out how to get each of the of each mark using its name as a clue. Damn, bro. Art final. I hope you're all ready because it's time for your final exam. Focus and do your best. And begin! 
What is the name of the res restaurant where you can change your Pokemon's Terra type? Ooh, the Treasure Eatery, I think, right? What is the name of Abrasia's signature art installation we discussed in class? The Surrend Rings and Flora. How many waterfalls are counted among the ten? Two. Where can you find the million volt skyline in. Oh shit. Lefincia, I think. The marks on Pokemon are present when you first meet them and none can be added later. That's false. That should at least give me like a 4 out of 5. At least. Oh, it's getting really cold. <laughs> I'm completely paling up. 5 out of 5! You're you are the king! You are the champion! Okay, uh, I'm gonna go put uh, a glass of milk in the microwave so I can get hot blood with some whipped cream. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. Bitch! This is the last class. Put away your phones, it is time to begin class. Though some of you had to retake mid the midterm exam multiple times, I'm glad to say that the majority of the class passed without issue. I feel honored to see that the knowledge and skills indispensable for your daily lives have taken root in all of you. I trust that you will all work just as hard on your life skills in the second half of our, half of our class as well. Get the blankie at least. Keep those muscles warm. Yeah, I probably should, but I don't wanna. Let us now turn our attention to the topic of the day, which was inspired by a question I received on the subject of meal powers. The student who asked this question is a young man who enjoys the culinary arts. He tells me that he regularly research culinary techniques on his own and pays careful attention to the ingredients he uses. He also spends day and night studying all aspects of the culinary arts. Yet despite this, he is baffled by his inability to increase the effectiveness of his meal powers. So tell me, Master Yori, since you did quite well in your midterms exam, what should hmm, this young man do to increase the eff effectiveness of his meal powers? should make food with other people. Perfect correction. I see that you are knowledgeable about your culinary arts. To increase the effectiveness of meal powers, your sandwiches must be filled with many different ingredients. For a single person, this may prove difficult, but if you prepare a sandwich with others, you will be able to handle a large serving of bread. With a larger base to start with, it becomes quite as simple to add more ingredients to your sandwich, which in turn makes it possible to receive meal powers of increased effectiveness. This applies more broadly as well when dealing with a difficult issue. Working with others to solve that issue may be the best course of action. Sure that Arvin will likewise work with friends to craft a sandwich in the future. <laughs> Ahem, I, the identity of the male student is, not a matter of is a matter of privacy, so I would ask that you do not pry too deeply. Our time together has come to an end. I bid you farewell. <laughs> Fuck it. This guy go in fucking sufferable for Arvin getting fucking dicked over like that.
Remember I bid you adieu? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, wait, partially. Isn't a specific character that said that all the time? I don't remember. While you're outperforming field work with one of your Pokemon walking alongside you, have you ever noticed changes in its coloration? Now, I don't mean that it's, uh, it suddenly becomes a shiny Pokemon or any nonsense like that. I'm speaking of it becoming filthy. Oh, no. Pokemon battle, they'll get hurt by moves used against them. They get battered by the wind and rain. They get covered in sand and mud. They get, in a word, filthy from Neo. Oh yeah, him. Oh yeah, the blondie, fuck. I have seen many a trainer walking about with their adorable little Pokemon without addressing this issue. It's deplorable. Let me ask this question of someone who I am sure would not tolerate such shameful conduct. Ah yes, Master Yordi. What should you do if your Pokemon is dirty? Cleaned up. Perfectly correct. I knew I could count on you to provide me with such an answer. When your Pokemon are dirty, clean them. This is, of course, simply common sense. While you are having a picnic, you can approach the Pokémon on your team and perform a variety of actions. One such action is putting them through what I like to call Pokémon Wash. In other words, you are able to clean them up. You start by getting your sponge lathered up with soapy bubbles, and you'll gently and carefully scrub your Pokémon. Once your Pokémon is nice and covered in soapy bubbles, the bubbles will encapsulate the filth, and then... You simply wash it away with a spray of water. This will get your Pokémon clean and shining, bright as a ju Terra Jewel. It's certainly quite a bit of work, but this will also restore HP and cure state conditions. However, some Pokémon may have parts of their bodies they don't want scrubbed, or that they would rather not get wet. Be sure to keep in mind when cleaning your Pokémon. Now, the most important point that I like to mention is that Pokémon like to be dirty. Though I will contradict myself by saying this, please do remember that cleaning your Pokémon is not always the kind of thing to do. Our time together has come to an end! Last class, then it's time for the test. And then it's time for the Elite Four, and then I can revive all the Pokémon that I killed. And we need to do the post-game. Home economics is the study of life necessities, but looking back on our time together, I realized that I focused almost entirely on food. I hope it's not too late to shift to a discussion of clothing, another necessity in our last class. As I'm sure you are aware, Kodemi has an air of freedom about it. We provide uniforms for each season, to accommodate the differences his climate of Paldea. However, students are free to wear whichever style they wish whenever they please. Should you all have received four sets of tops and bottoms, once each for, for each season, summer, spring, fall, and winter, the Academy accepted you. If by chance you were not aware of this, you may also wish to per peruse your wardrobe. As long as you wear a school uniform, the rest of your assemble needs not be school issued. This includes your bag, your hats, if you choose to wear one. You are also free to, ch <laughs> to style your hair however you wish. Mr. Salvatore's hairstyle, for example, would almost certainly have been against school rules when I was a boy. That reminds me. There's one thing uh, you all like to decorate, which I must say I find quite charming. Our own phones. Perfectly correct, that adorable little thing I was speaking of. Oh. It interests me so. 
I must admit that I'm fascinated by the rotom phones and how to customize them. What's that? Oh, very intriguing. So there's a shop called Delibird Presents where you can purchase cases for your f rotom phones. I thank you for that useful bit of information. I shall have to go myself first thing tomorrow to get an adorable case of my own liking. Forgive me, it seems I've gone a little carried away with the small talk. Um, at this class known as Home Economics near its end, I offer these final words to you who have been honing everyday life skills with me. My field of study is not so decisive as the likes of mathematics, for instance, where test scores might play a part in deciding your future. However, as you go on to cook yourself for yourself, to take care of your Pokémon, to decide what to wear in the morning when you awaken, I would be honored if what I have taught you serves to smoothen out and enrich your lives, even if only a little. This sentiment was imparted to me by Mr. Hassel and his particular outlook on such matters. I thank you all for, from the bottom of my heart for seeing this class through to you in the end. Our time together has come too close for today. Prepare to do your best on your final exam. Which of the following new powers makes it easier to come across shiny Pokémon? Sparkling power. Which of the following is not an effect of egg power? It makes it eggs hatch faster, it helps hatch strong Pokémon, it makes it easier to find eggs easier to find. What is a simple yet important tactic for increasing the effectiveness of mules? Make food with others. What is the correct action to take when your adorable Pokémon become dirty? Pokémon wash. It's a question about academic rules. Should you change your uniform tops and bottoms to properly match it each season? It doesn't matter. Baby! Okay, we need to go talk to every uh, teacher now. Get their friendships maxed out. Hassle. Oh, why, well, hello there, young Yordi. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought and didn't notice your approach. I feel I must again apologize for what transpired in the schoolyard. It didn't bother me. Haha, <laughs> that is very magnanimous of you, Yordi. That woman who showed up is a dragon tamer, and a relative of mine, I might add. You see, I come from a very long line of trainers who specialize in dragon-type Pokémon. Okay, that's good to know, that he's the dragon elite for. was a child in our family who was expected to stand at its head and lead it to greatness. But the young lad's rebellious little fellow that he was ran away from home one day. He made quite a show of it too, swearing he'd make a living with music. A lot happened since then and now he's the art teacher and Elite Four member before you. HA! Nice. After I so rudely took my leave during our last conversation, my dear relative encouraged me to give up teaching and return home at last. I've been told that the current leader of my family, that is to say my father, is in poor health. <clears throat> oh, but I do apologize. Perhaps I'm not cut out for teaching after all. What sort of teacher grumbles on and on at his own student? Yeah, uh, 
Don't worry about it, Hassel. There are worse teachers than you. Everyone in this school does it. <laughs> you're a great teacher. Ah, my dear Yordi, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. You feel trusted by Mr. Hassel. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was lost in thought. Why, if it isn't Yordi from Class 1A. Yes! Yes! <laughs> it is convenient that you would take the baits I presented in class. A vessel, a sword, a set of tablets, and a set of beads. After obtaining these four treasures, the king's castle was destroyed. Why, you ask? Because these four treasures were actually four Pokémon. As these Pokémon were passed from human hand to human hand as treasure, they slowly became tainted by hubris and greed. Finally, after coming in contact with the rapacity of the king at the time, they awakened as disasters and began to rampage out of control. The king called for real Pokémon wielders to defend the country, and after a fierce battle, incarnations of disasters were quelled. It is said that these four Pokémon were then sealed away somewhere in Paldea. <clears throat> that is nice, that is super cool, because this actually tells us about Pokémon we can still find, which are most likely uh, the ones once we find all the eggs of different colors in the ground. So what do you think? Would you say this story is just make-believe? No. Ha! <laughs> Very astute of you. I've read many historical disaster reports, personal journals, and the like. There is much to support the truth of this story. I, uh, if I am able to prove the story is versed, vericity myself, I will be sure to let you know. See if there's any other teacher I can talk to in the area. I think the answer is no. Oh, there is. Oh, I can talk to her again. Yuri, the time has come. The cursed treasures, the four Pokemon of Ruin, they exist. And I stumbled upon the truth in the newspaper of all places. An interview piece with a carpenter, no less. The Pokémon wielders apparently use sacred stakes to seal these treasures of ruin in shrines. There is a separate shrine for each of the four Pokémon and eight stakes driven into the ground in the area surrounding the shrine to keep the power of ruin at bay. See these things? We've been pulling them out. In other words, it's of the stakes for a given shrine were to be removed, we release the Pokémon it held inside. You think it would be nice to free those Pokémon from confines of their tiny little shrine, Jordy? Yes. <laughs> kind soul, I see. You are proven truthfully useful. According to a descendant of the Pokémon wielders, in the story, you have a bond with Pokémon in order to remove the. St you must have a bond with Pokémon in order to remove the stakes. I'm sure Pokémon, someone as Pokémon savvy as yourself, would have no trouble at all with that. You can choose for yourself whether to believe me or not. That will mark the location. <gasps> oh, the shrines only. Fuck, I thought of the stakes as well. I'd rather go myself, of course, but skipping out on my classes to go adventuring seems to have made the director a little suspicious of me. <laughs> you can think of it as part of your treasure hunt. Treasures of ruin are still treasures, after all. 
I hope you will investigate these shrines if you are as inclined to do so. I actually thought she was gonna tell me where the fucking... where everything was. I can talk to her again. Oh, is that... Do I need to come back to her after I got all the Pokemon? Maybe. Let's go to the cafeteria, talk to Mr. Time. <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna do that after post-game. Because... Uh, it's uh, gonna be a lot of looking around and hunting. Yordi, you scared me. Are you cooking something? Oh no, I'm not here for anything food related at all. I was just walking around the entrance hall, and I felt this intense gaze that I told you about before. So quickly I ducked into the cafeteria here. Our cafeteria has only one entrance, so I thought that I might be able to discover the identity of the person watching me if they followed me in here. Ah, someone came in just now. That's weird. I thought I saw her come in here. Guess I won't be able to ask my question today either. That girl, I feel like I've seen her several times before. She seems to be a student here, but I get the feeling that her question is not about our studies. Next time I see her, maybe I'll go start up a conversation myself. I could have been a little scary being here on my own. Could have been a little scary being here on my own. On my own. I'm glad you were here with me. You feel trusted by Miss Time. Biology lab. Pika! Oh, my dear Yordi! Thank you for your advice bef from before. Pommy is, well, you see for yourself. It seems very quiet. Yeah, it's feeling better, but this particular palmy may just be a bit meek, I suppose. I had Nurse Miriam, uh, Miriam take a look as well, and she says there's nothing wrong with it health-wise. So, it shouldn't have any injuries, ailments, or the like. Even so, it never uttered so much as a cry, which is odd. That part has even Mr. Jacques here stumped. Sorry that I couldn't be of any help. Don't worry about it, I don't even know what I said there, yo. I have some more information now, thanks to the Academy security cameras, though. It seems Pommy was attacked by a wild Pokemon and fled here to the Academy grounds. Maybe it's still in a bit of shock from that experience and can't bring himself to speak yet. Yep, if that's the case, there's absolutely no problem with keeping quiet. Pas de problème. We just wait. That is until it feels like talking. That's all we can do, really. Even if you can speak all sorts of languages, there's no guarantee that you can understand what's going on in someone's heart. But have no fear, I won't give up. No, I'll keep on trying until we figure out each other out. You feel trusted by Mr. Salvatore. Oh, it's uh, my professor. Hello there, Yordi. You seen you've already registered 200 species of Pokemon in your Pokedex for me? Whoa, Pokemon from the mountains, Pokemon from the sea. Wait, what? No way. Have you even found Pokemon in a place like this? Ah, sorry about that, I got a little excited there. My Pokemon research is moving along super duper splendidly thanks to you. Here, take this, consider it my way of saying thanks. 20 quick balls. You're our bona fide Pokemon catching professional, Yordi. Your next goal is to aim for all. Okay, that means I don't have to come back uh, until I got my Pokedex completed. Good to know. Where do you want to go? Heart room. 
Let's go talk to Mr. Hassel. Mr. Hassel! <clears throat> Why, hello there, Yordi. You always seem to appear at the most crucial of moments. Well, you seem. Master Hassel, I'm here to collect you. So I see. I'm glad that you finally made up your mind about taking your place as leader of the family. Well, it is indeed true that I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind to continue teaching here at the Academy. How, how could you? Are you saying you don't care what happens to our proud lineage? I'm saying that I have other priorities. Have you looked around at the art decorations this room would you? Children here are letting their senses, their perspectives, grow freely. I do not wish to say that protecting our family's ancient bloodline is of no importance. I simply wish to see young talent blossom and grow into the future. I just It just seems so much more fun to me, if I'm being honest. What utter nonsense. And yet, your fearless, unflinched commitment to that nonsensical vision proves that you are worthy of carrying the will of the dragons, Master Asshole. I will not give up. I will come as many times as I need in order to change your mind. Oh, by all means, my door is open. I think you'll soon find you've met your match in stubbornness. You thought I could be cowed by some story spun up about my father's deteriorating health? I am not so easily fooled. We'll return another day. You know, Mr. Hassel, I could just go to that family lineage and just beat the shit out of them with my Pokemon and show how weak they actually are. <laughs> then they will leave you alone. <laughs> I was so very close to resigning my post as a teacher and returning to my home. Yeah, 200k! But students here gave me courage to say no. That includes you, Yordi. Your words truly really brought me strength. I cannot think of a way I can possibly repay my debt to the young ones. Take this, if you will. Insufficient as it may be, an expression to the full breadth of my gratitude. Ooh. Now then, let it be clear to all, I Hassel will continue to continue on my chosen path as an instructor of the youths of our world. It's good to know that he is uh, the dragon type uh, Elite Four, though. No, we don't want to go anywhere. We want to get our... My dear Yordi, Palmy here is as healthy as can be. Ah, well, it seems pretty quiet. It's simply a part of its one personality. It's hard for a Pokémon to communicate with its fellows without speaking up. As you know, while Pokémon use their crimes to tell each other all sorts of things, like the location of food or wherever there are predators nearby. So even if I were to release it back into the wild, I'm afraid that it may not be able to do those sort of things. What do you think, Yordi? Where does Palmy belong? With you, Mr. Salvatore. Oh, I didn't expect to hear Mon Nom by name. So you think I sh it should stay here with me? I was so focused on getting it back to good health so I could return to the wild that I didn't even consider the possibility. What do you think about that idea, my little Pommy friend? Pommy! It just spoke! Pommy, it spoke at last! Even without speaking Pokemon language myself, I know that that reply means yes. My dear Yordi, merci so very much for all your help with Pommy. The more reason you should have this rare Pokémon for you to raise. You received the Meowth! It's the Galarian Meowth, which I, bat which I actually need to get, like, really high level and good for level 6 raids. Uh, hi, SQ. I'll take it upon myself to look after Pawnee for good. I will indeed. You formed a close bond with Mr. Salvatore. Ah, uh, Master Yordi! There's something uh, that I would very much like to ask your help with. 
You need my help? Well, you see, I do not want anyone to overhear this, but... I heard rumors of an incredibly sweet condiment that exists somewhere in the Peldia region. I must absolutely experience that ambrosial sweetness for myself. You are the only one who knows of my insatiable sweet tooth, thus I have no one else I can turn to for help on this matter. I cannot go looking for this condiment myself, lest I destroy the image students have of me. I will repay you for your troubles, of course. Give it some thought, if this piques your interest. In the meantime, I will gather what information I can about this incredibly sweet condiment. I will share what I find with you as soon as I have more detailed information. You feel trusted by Mr. Salgudor. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually the Herma thingy for... The sweet uh, Herma. Psst, you never asked who Dordor is. I'm Dordor. About what matter which I need your help with. Discovered the name of the incredible sweet condiment. It's called Sweet Herba Mystica. Yep. If you should find it during the course of your treasure hunt, I would be grateful if you share some with me. No worries. Leave it to me. Means I need to come back with that after clearing. Just like with... Uh... The other professor. No, I am your your. I'm Dordy. I'm Dordor. I'm Jordy. No way. No way. No way. Come on, Miriam. Just try it. Miss Dendra. Oh, great timing, new kid. Nurse Miriam here won't try the sandwich I made. Well, duh. I don't want to get the stomachache. You won't. Probably. I still remember that sandwich you made me with the meat filling and the meats for bread. That one really messed me up bad. I hadn't trained in the art of sandwich making yet back then. I was young and thoughtless and... Young and thoughtless? It was last month! Also, I, I'm also Yordi Mum as well. I'm everyone. So you can see, I'm not getting anywhere trying to crusade her. Even after I went through that intense sandwich making training, it kind of makes me sad. She went through intense sandwich making training. She worked really hard at it. Ugh. I guess I have no choice if you've got one of our cute little students on your side. So fine, I'll try your sandwich. Let's see it. Yes, I knew you'd come around. Here it is. Munch, munch, munch. It's a little strongly flavored, but I guess it's not bad. Woohoo! My training paid off! I'm so glad my sandwich pleases the great nurse, Miriam. I look up to you, you know. For thank you for trying it, and thanks to you too, new kid. And she run off again. That's weird. But that's just how Miss Dendra is, I guess. She's always coming into the nurse office with some injury or another, too. Need to reload this area. Um, school store. I need to buy some junk anyways. Or not. No. Also, new kids, you're here to do a little shopping? I came to see you. Haha, <laughs> so you came to see me, did you? I'm here to check out the sandwiches they got for sale. The old store sandwich tastes great and have excellent nutrition balance, too. You're not making your own? I guess I'm just not used to it yet. That training kind of wore me out. I achieved my goal anyway, so I'm going to take a break from sandwich making for a bit. 
All right, I didn't tell you what my goal was. I wanted to pay Miss uh, Nurse Miriam back for everything she does for me. It was my way of saying thanks. She's so nice and so skilled at what she does. We're gonna look up to her. I want to try sandwich making so I could be skilled at doing something for other people like she is. But I guess I just wasn't cut out for it. What am I cut out for though? Is being full of energy. So I decided to focus on that instead. Like I said in class, I think people and Pokemon should make their strong points stronger. You really helped me out, new kid. Take this as a way of saying thanks. My way of saying thanks. Bottles of protein. Alright then, what should I go with today to get my protein in? Two blondes walk into a bar. You would think one of them would see. You would think one of them would see it. I'm confused. <clears throat> oh, fuck! That took way too long! Shit! <laughs> they walk into a bar. <clears throat> they quite literally walk into it. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, fuck, that took way too long. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> God damn it. Two blondes walk into a bar. I'm like thinking of the bar joke, yo, and it's like... <laughs> Help me keep an eye out, would you? I set up a little ambush here for that girl who keeps watching me. She'll be here any second. An ambush? Oh, you'll see. It's not very pleasant knowing she's just staring at me all the time. And now I know what she looks like after seeing her in the cafeteria. Ah. It's you, isn't it? You're the one who's been secretly watching me recently. The time? How do you know I... I guess you must have noticed me. I I'm so sorry. Well, of course I noticed. You were watching me practically all day every day, after all. Assume there's something you want to ask me? Y yes, I do. I've been a huge fan of yours since your time as a gym leader, and I love rock-type moves so very much. Oh my, but you just suddenly retired from your post as gym leader a year and a half ago. Why'd you quit? My goodness, is that all you want to ask? Yes, your reason for retiring was never made public. It's well known among the students here that you just avoid the question anytime it's asked. I thought it would be rude to ask you a question that you don't want to answer, so I just couldn't find the courage to ask. That's why your gaze felt so very intense, I see. Forgive me. So very intense? Ah, never mind that. As for the reason I quit my job as being a gym leader, I simply want to focus more on a job as a teacher. It's not that I dislike being a gym leader or anything of the sort. Quite the contrary, talking about the gym fills me with feeling of nostalgia and sadness. That's why I always avoid the question when students ask. Oh, I see. Do you have any plans of becoming a gym leader again? No, I'm afraid I don't plan to do so. My sister is doing a splendid job as a gym leader in my stead. I personally find being a teacher most enjoyable these days. But since I am, in fact, your teacher, I would appreciate you call if you call me Miss Time, as students do, and not just time. Okay, I'm sad to hear that, but I understand. Thank you for, thank you so much, Miss Time. Well, I suppose that solves the mystery. <laughs> Fucking hell, though, Zillar. Ah, that made me so nervous. I said so many things to try and sound cool. I was certainly a little scared when I felt that girl's intense gaze on me, but having you here with me allowed me to do what needed to be done to face what turned out to be one of my biggest fans. I thank you for always showing up at just the right time, Morty. Allow me to show you my appreciation a little. I hope these help on your adventure. Quite literally walked into it. I just can't. How the fuck? Like, my brain cannot even fathom, like, that entire... Let's go talk to uh, Nurse Miriam. Hey, 
Hey there, come on in, everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Oh, Jordi, I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not gonna believe this, but... I passed the health teacher certification exam. That's great. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure hunt. It really inspired me. Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the push. I need to try again, Jordi. Ten max revives. But they tell me there's no room to add new class this year. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Just you wait though, I'll be standing in front of a class at the AS Academy before you know it. And I'll teach you all you need to know about health. I bet I'll make a great teacher. Can't wait to see you in my class. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, that means we've done everything except for the big side quests, but those cannot be completed just yet. That only leaves one thing left to do! The Pokémon League! Roto to 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 You ready? Penny? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. And we never actually finished the quest line, I guess. So, let me go have a look at my map, right? Uh, not here. Okay, so it does show the gates, but it doesn't show... Oh, I can actually fly to it now as well. Are there any items I can steal from this area? Yeah. Oh. Dual ball. I didn't know it could get behind the school. Would there be something interesting down here? Amnesia! Hasta la vista. Six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? <clears throat> anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. What happened? Pokemon League said they'll waive my debts if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate. 
if you can believe that. The Rexer Cavalan that Carita Lady kept complimenting me, like, weird amount. Apparently I have, an out I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I've never seemed to find the right words, but um, thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Draco Meteor. And something else. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. One more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Yordi. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista! <clears throat> Okay, that is team member number two. There's only one team member left to get, yo. Is there anything in here of interest? Oh yeah, picnic uh, thingies. This is just a regular... yeah. No. Gas. Gas. Was there anything interesting I could buy in the Chansey supply? Uh, that's where I can get all my mints and my proteins. Oh. Which store is here? Okay, we should have most of the meals now. Della Bird was on this side somewhere. Battle items. Ability shields. Those are expensive. Throat spray. General goods. Okay, I can buy the bubble caps already. It's interesting. Uh, we got one sooth bell. Let me buy one purple nectar. Actually. By bulk one red nectar. Oh, 
One ye nope. One yellow, one pink. Oh. Stream, 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 stream. Buy with LP. Balls. Uh, let's see. Oops. I didn't know that counted as outside the city. I'm literally on the wrong side as well. Oh no, I'm on... Not on the wrong side. Anything interesting in the water here? No, fine. If I fucked up anyways, might as well travel... ...to... ...here. Post Marina. I don't have a Rotom yet, so I can't actually buy the thing. <clears throat> but let's see if there's anything interesting that I can buy. At the auction today. She actually disappeared. Hyper Potions, Great Balls. Muscle fetters, useless. Okay. Back to Mesa Gosa. Time to do the Elite Four. So is there did there spawn any interesting Pokemons around here? I see Igly buffs. Love where are you guys? Tandem Mouse. I'm only seeing low level derpies. The fuck is this? Pokemon League is so cool! Making my way to the Pokemon League, let's battle to mark the occasion. Jackson. You're not challenging the Elite Four with a Meowth, right? With a fucking level 14 Meowth? <clears throat> I am everything and everyone. Kind of disappointed. You look like you've got promise, kid. Let's give you a challenge to grow on. I didn't realize I could enter this place already. Oh, Crocodile, that is actually a Pokemon. Use Intimidate. But can you defeat. Oh, okay, you're actually level 56. Should be fine using Ice, though. Killing. One shot. Kill.
Bronzel and Cheryl Swamp. Score Villain. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Wow. It didn't kill. It actually rain dances. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? SQ, I just had a chocolate milk like half an hour ago. With whipped cream. Cerulege. Is wing. Bitter Blade. Whoa, did that actually heal? <gasps> I want Cerule Edge. We have the armor already, I just need to get uh, get the Pokemon. But I do it again for funsies. <laughs> or hydrate on water. You know what? I'm gonna do the exact opposite and I'm gonna eat chips. Salty <laughs> chips. I was about to say, can I not climb this wall? Oh, I can't climb it any higher. Kinda wanted to see if I could, like, get onto the building. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> so it is it you decided to face the Pokemon League? Yeah, I'm most likely hundred levels above you guys, but sure. The final test you must pass to become a champion is health here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Yordi. Hmm. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Are you re ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Mm -hmm. It appears you have a total of 18 badges. Very well. You may now proceed to the interview room. Boom? Room. Room. R O O M. Rika! Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat.
Irika will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. True, and lay in bed under a blanket and take a warm bath and never get out of it. We begin the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Jordi. Please think carefully as you may automatically fill the interview depending on your answer. Let's begin. I wrote on my Pokemon. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Naranja Academy. Ah, that's right. So, what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to become champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if you... to do if and when you become a champion? I want to become even stronger. I see, interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gym badges gave you the most difficulty? Huh. Let me think. Did I lose any of my Pokemon in a gym? Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know which one that was. That was the normal type, I think, right? Contro, Artisan, Kefra, Levina, Metali. I see. What was the name of the gym leader you faced there? Larry, right? I'm glad you seem to remember. Do you remember which type Pokemon Larry used? Normal. This interview sounds sus, it's very sus. Building the skills needed for a champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Yordi. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose your first partner? The Grass Cat Pokemon. Very good, very good. Ah yes, that's right. The next is the final question for this interview. Of course I like Pokemon. Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up the interview. Now let me be the first to congratulate you, Yordi. You just passed first part of the champion assessment. And your first try too, no less. I don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. But anyways, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The next segment is what we call the elite test. You'll be facing the elite four in the Pokemon battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Yep. Anyways, we're the best league has to offer. You'll be facing us in four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk. Cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready. Then go into the room behind me.
Now let's get started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast! So what is her type? Wish cash. Finally, I get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give up so too soon. Cake. No cake. I'm way higher level than they are. Dolphin. So it seems like ground type type, right? Yeah, after all, we haven't fought ground type yet. That means that she means that it's going to be easy. Hmm. Actually, setting a sense one. Wonder if that's going to be a problem. Camerupt can be a problem. Except Stomping Tantrum. <laughs> Impressive. You really are something else, kiddo. Old Sire. Oh, it's you. Hmm. Let's finish this. Go on, Claude Sire. Shake things up a bit. Hmm. Poison type, though. This might be a problem. Or maybe not. Hmm, talk sick. Cringe, bro. Soul, protect, toxic. But only five Pokemon. Good job, Squirrel Villian. Haha! 
Not bad, kiddo. Look at her face. She's super disappointed. Talk about unfair. No way was I ever gonna win that one. Still though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make to pass the elite test, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of that few that do, Yordi. Better stay on your toes, though the second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt, coming out! <laughs> Puppy! Come in! I wonder what her type specialty is. Oh wow, did you lose Recam? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Okay, good. We do get a moment to actually heal up my Pokémon. Well, at least heal up uh, the poison. Ready to face Poppy of the Elite Four. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye-bye, mister. All my Pokémon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bone straight off, you'll see. Can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they come. Raja Steel type. Smush him. If it's Steel type, score villain is fucking OP in here, yo. Not very effective, but you're heavy as fuck. Yep, steel type. I can't believe that uh, Score Villain can carry the first two uh, Elite Four members on his own. Magnezone, even. Sturdy. Light screen. Think it on. I think it's only strong. I'm actually kind of scared here. Time to get dressed up all pretty pinky, dinky. Light screen is gonna fuck me over. Stone Edge. 
Mm. Ow. Mm. Yeah, we don't want to lose score villain. Do I risk it? I think we're risking it. Yeah, it's exactly half. We're just risking it. Oh! <laughs> Score villain is dead! I'm so sorry, buddy! Yeah, I didn't want to swap out anyone into this. <laughs> Corvillain, edit to the death list. Five Pokemon left. Revenge on you, Rika. Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. I don't think I did anything wrong by you. I hate to say it, but you lost, puppy. Better call the next guy. Well, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. It's your turn, Mr. Larry! Okay, we actually don't have a... Uh, A good counter to Larry. Hello there, it's me, Larry. Mm. Let's use Spook. As a member of the Elite Four too, yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use different type here. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. Oh crap. So he's not using normal types? Flying types, I guess, then. Because we haven't battled anyone that specializes in flying yet. Yeah. Well, I'll be trying my hand with flying type Pokemon this time. Sunny day, Nani. Solar beam. Mm. That's kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. Never mind, I said jack shit. Star Raptor switch. We're sending in Elysio here. Just gonna discharge. Hello, 
close combat. Actually outspeeding. But this is a sure as fuck dead bird. Altariam. We should be fine against Altariam. Due to the dragon type, she is not super weak against electricity, but Lizio is bulky as fuck. That's not good. Come on, Lizio, you got this. Swapping into my dragon. Revelation dance. High school crash. But I miss. Are you kidding me? Come on, bud, you got this. And I miss again. Yeah. Almighty is still alive. Still confused. Mendel Sai. Well, that took the win from under our wings. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder La Primera likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. Now where could he be? I don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, asshole. Larry, you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Asshole? Yeah, yeah. Asshole, you're up next!
<laughs> Hello there, Yordi. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry... I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? <laughs> okay, let me heal up all my Pokemon. And all my T should be able to carry this one solo. I was, of course, absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young sprouts truly do grow with outstanding speed, yes. But I need for a moment imagined we would be facing each other so soon. Now, a teacher's duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my roles as a, a teacher for a moment. And wield all my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. I am Hassel the dragon guarding the final fortress of the elite test. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fury breath of ferocious battle feels. Chocolate cake doesn't exist. You're challenged by Hassel. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, starting off with Noivern. Show me everything you've got. I shall face you with my full strength. Same. I shall face you with my strongest Pokémon. Dragalbeam. They should make a Dragon Fairy type. A Dragon type Pokemon that is weak, that is not weak against Dragon and not weak against Fairy. Only a little more until you pass, don't let up. Come, oh great dragon, and take a jewel as your cr Brick break. How much longer till your birthday, SQ? Shit, I missed. That's actually kind of bad. Come on. Finished. I only lost one Pokemon due to greed. The mighty dragon has been felt. You really did it? Oh, wow. Huh. How wonderful! I'm just so proud of... <laughs> oh, don't cry, Grandpa Hustle. There, there. One hug. 
Sorry about all this, Yordi. The old man can get like that sometimes. I know, he went like that in school as well. What do I do? I'm just, just so overwhelmed! Yes, I got to do the talking. Anyway, the res your result of the elite test of the champion assessment is... A pass, no doubt about it. Yeah, you're tougher than steel. Yep. You did it! You did it! <laughs> Congratulations! I'd say you're good to go, but there's actually just a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This is your final trial. See the door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test, is waiting beyond it. 27, three more days, almost. She was able to strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose, you know. You hear? They actually heal you before the champion? That is so nice. You love your Pokemon, mister. So I'll cheer you as hard as I can. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire. Well, guess you got over your sumps, huh? You can do this. We all know you can. Now go, young Yordi. Your hands may be small, but let them seize a great victory. Okay, can I uh, put my... Uh a Pokemon away, because he's not allowed to be in here anymore. <sighs> Goodbye, score villain, until after we see the credits. Then you're allowed to come back. Going in with only five Pokemon. Yes. How tough can she be? I mean, I do have a full team of Pokemon above level 70. So, I don't know. Sweet. Welcome, Yordi. It gives me great joy that you managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for a League Chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokémon battles. Maybe that's why nobody passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful, like Champion Nimona did. So, are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. You're challenged by top champion Gita. Espathra. Almighty. I do hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. What is her? She, well, she's a champion, so she probably doesn't have a specific typing. We're gonna go into Brutal Swing. Nice. Yes, that's the correct decision in this situation. Please continue. That is... Reflect. Skitter smack. Shift still kill Espathra. Avalog, Avalog. Uh, we don't have fire anymore. Ice, so steel should work, but the reflect is up, so that's kind of painful. Let's just see how well this goes. Yeah, not even half. Earthquake, that is not great. What's the matter? You're not one to let something so magnificent fluster you. I mean, I'm not flustered. Brutal swing to do a little bit of damage. Uh, okay, good.
Reflect War Off, that's even better. Veluza, I don't know what a Veluza is. Uh, Veluza, Veluza, fuck. Let's go into Lizio. Lizio can handle most things very well. Ah, oh, perfect. Veluza is the water type, bitch. Oh, it's going down, boy. It's going down. <laughs> King Gambit. King Gambit. We'll stay in with uh, Lizio. Oh, wait, we unlocked you, Supreme Overlord. Strength of the Fall, oh shit, this might be scary. Lizio might actually go out on this. If it's an ability, if it does what I think it does. Kowtow Cleave. Oh no, we're fine. Electromorphosis. Rocky Helmet, sucks to be you, bruh. Uh, let's just use this tar Discharge. Finish it off. King Ambit. Go Goat. Go Goat, we definitely need to switch out of. <clears throat> Bex Calibad. High School Crash. Bye, go goat. Glimoron. Now that sounds like a fucking fairy type. Um. Hmm. Let's go with Grafia, right? Grafia. Or shiny Grafia. <laughs> Don't think you've won just yet. Glimora. Oh no, I... Don't know what you are. Let's just gunk shoulder it. Be the light that guides the trainers, Glimora. That's rock type. Hmm. Yeah, not very effective. But poisons, and that's one of the few things I only care about. Oh, you're also po Oh! Okay, earth power. Yikes. Uh, yeah, Grafii needs to get out of here. The poison will slowly kill it, but I need... Ooh, what am I gonna go into? Spook Evan hasn't had a turn yet. I think he'll be fine in this situation. But he will get poisoned, which is not that great. Earth power. Limora was hurt by poison. Spook. Uh, I'm just gonna Phantom Force it. This is how you're supposed to unleash a move. This is what it takes to be at the top. Terrible. Oh, fuck. I do have that TM already. But I didn't feel like ever using it. Spook instantly vanished. I hope I don't take too much damage here, yo. Spook was hurt by poison. Ning. Terror blast, but misses. I should. This should win. This should be over here. Yeah, Glimora is out.
That was actually kind of scary. You defeated top champion Gita. You go beyond my imagination so easily. You better believe it. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Peldea has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations, it's my honor to call you Champion Yordi. Congratulations is right. Now I can really say you're good to go. Yay, you did it, mister! Congratulations. Just the face! You can't get all of them! You crying again? You Pokemon trainers are a treasure of Paldea. And amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine brightest. Champion Yordi, it's now your duty to set as an example for all of the trainers of Paldea. Now allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you're familiar. You'll find a familiar face awaiting you. Please at least heal my Pokemon before you go into this battle. Yordi! 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 Oh man! I can tell just looking at you, you did it, right? You became a champion. Yep. <laughs> I knew it all along! I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Yordi, I'm a champion, and now you're a champion. Which means we're true equals. You and me, both champion rank trainers. This is amazing! Now that you made it here, I've got one thing to say. Let's you and me be best rivals for life. Yeah, Tomaya! All right, you know what rivals do? You know what rivals do. Battle their absolute hearts out. I'm gonna hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, Champion Nimona. Huh? What's the matter, Primera? Champion assessment has only just ended. I believe a rest is in order for Champion Yordi. Think it, Tonk and the others. Must understand. Must be understanding towards their champions. Uh, right. I got overexcited again. Sorry, Yordi. Think it told him. I also must ask, is there is this Rosite really the setting you two want for this first battle of true equals and rifles? Hmm, now that you mention it, that's a good point. In that case, can we use the one of the league's battle courts? Surely there's somewhere more fitting place with a special meaning for the two of you, perhaps. Hmm, let's see, anywhere leap to mind? Behind your house. Ah, beach out back, huh? That place where we had our first battle might work. On the other hand, to me, it's just kind of my backyard, you know? A little ordinary. Any place, Mega Goza? Good call. The place where we set out on our journeys. That reminds me, Yordi. Remember back when Director Cavill explained the treasure hunt? You know, how he told us to go in search of our own treasure? Well, I know what treasure I got out of all of this. I found a true rival. Someone who could stand up to me at my full cap capabilities. That's right, I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Yordi. Anyway, that being said... I'll be waiting for you at the battle court in Mego Mesa Goza Central Plaza. See you there. That's respect you two share is... Palpable, I don't know what that means. Even a bit enviable, to be honest. I'm known as La Primera, but even when facing me in the final test of her champion assessment, Champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. In you, I suspect she has found someone she can battle without holding anything back. So that means I need to hold back. <laughs> no, you're, that is not the lesson here. You need to go full out, but my Pokemon are dead. I don't have any other Pokemon. <laughs> I'm good. It's gonna be a five against six. What am I supposed to do about that? <sighs> oh, so funny. I don't even have the resources to, like, level something up. And all the EVs would be too low as well. 
So we're just gonna do it with these five Pokémon. Like a true challenge. Any second now. Ah, there you are, Yordi. Are you ready for a battle between champions? Because all the folks here seem to be ready to watch words got around, I guess. And out of every single person gathered here, and the most excited by a mile. The stage is set. It's my all-out power. Versus your strength and full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. You are challenged by champion Nemona. Lycanroc. The almighty. I'm sorry, Lightning Rock. Finally, the thing I've been waiting all this time for. Time to begin our greatest battle of all. I'm sorry, but Lightning Rock is just gonna get flattened by a big hammer here. To think I helped teach you type matchups, and now you're using them to put the hurt on me? Critical hit at the critical moment? That goes beyond luck. You've got some kind of gift. Okay, what's out next? Orthworm, steel type. Uh, I don't have fire type anymore. Um, huh. Wait, Orthworm? No, that's not who I think it is. Let's go with Lizio, see what happens. Oh, it is. Oh, because yeah, we'll just match up. See what happens. Earth Eater. <gasps> Earthquake. How do you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good finally let loose. Electromorphosis. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, we're gonna volt switch out of this place, yo. Oh, 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 you're too strong, Lizzie. Lizzie went back to Yordi. Uh, we're sending out Bexcalibur first. Pummeled, fighting type, electric type. Dragon Claw. Close combat. Dundun Spars. Uh, I guess we're gonna go with Spooky, right? Dundon Sparse is normal type. I don't have anything to hit super effective on normal. Funny that she has the three typing play rough. Oh, that's not great. Dragon Rush. Just headbutt then, I guess, right? Let's hope that flinches. That's what we like seeing. Oh, 
with the attack. Okay. Still have all my Pokemon left, but two Pokemon that are very low on HP, Gudra. Uh, we got one MVP for that one. Go! The Almighty! And I miss, of course I do. Fucking five. Muddy <laughs> water. Nah, it's not too bad. Quake Vol, Kuval. Gonna visit, finish it off with Lizio because she's an electric type. It's all down to this, my last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we've got. I don't want to disrespect, so we're gonna terrestrialize. Shining, blazing bright, my greatest treasure. Shine. Blazing bright, my greatest treasure. And she actually outspeeds? That's kind of crazy, not gonna lie. See, I told you you can win. No, you said and lose. I know what you said to this Q. Don't lie. Don't change your mind halfway there. Get ready to see how strong Quaval has grown since the day we all met. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that I uh, let my cat die. Okay, not too bad. Speed Rose. Electromorphosis. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh... But, uh, I'm gonna fry that chicken of yours. <laughs> I'm gonna fry some duck. Is she crying? You! <laughs> you did it! This is legit incredible, you're the strongest out there, Yordi! <laughs> I mean, you knocked me flat, and I was giving you absolutely everything I had! Everything I... I... Ah! Ha 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 Oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? So much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for that incredible match, you beat me. Let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Yordi, before round two. <laughs> <laughs> Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions! Decisions! <laughs> Listen, Nimona, the next time we fight, I'm, go I'm bringing a full team of legendaries. You're gonna meet my favorite uh, Pokemon in all the world. I'm gonna bring my shiny Luxray. Victory road complete. Roto to to to. Yo, Arvin here. Bow wow, whoa, down boy. Don't jump up like that. Seems like hearing your voice has old Mobusty of here all worked up, Yordi. Oh, but that's not why I can't. Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to Area Zero? Yes. Of course you do. 
you little know-it-all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped you make a name for yourselves, build up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now we've all we've all just got to there. First step will be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone too. Don't leave me hanging forever. You know where this is. I'll be waiting. Wow! 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 Oh, okay, I'm thinking, do we continue on with just five Pokemon, or do I put someone in the team? Because in all honesty, I really don't know. I think we're just going to keep it like this. Let's go talk to uh, Director Kelvin. Thank you for the visit, Master Yordi. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. Good friend? Haha, <laughs> I'll leave their identity to your imagination. But now, lest I forget, there's another matter I would very like your opinion on. Do you know what matter, manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were among the youth these days? Giant pompadours, long locks, bow cut. Short styles. Is that so? I suppose I have indeed seen some of the academy male students sporting such style. Could be, then, that the pompadour has already had its days in the sun. Perhaps I ought to consider change of wig. Ah, that is to say, never mind. Thank you for your insight, Master Yorty. It was most enlightening. You feel trusted by Director Kelvin. Can I talk to you again? Yeah, okay. Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. And I know she is exceedingly grateful to you for your part in all this. So I have made one more I have one more thing to ask of you, though. The request is admittedly a of delicate nature. Do you think you could continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have this far? You bet. I must say I truly am glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you've more than earned this small token of my appreciation. A big nugget. I hope that you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Master Yordi. You form the close bond with Director Kelvin. Okay. Entrance hall. Can't teleport here yet. Let me just set this destination then and then go to Metal E West. Okay. This is the final challenge, by the way, guys. After this, we hit the credits and we hit the post-game. And post-game still has some few things to do as well, which is story-related. But at least... Gordy is always getting distracted. If Gordy doesn't get distracted... What will ever happen to him? Uh, yeah. So, what was I saying again? Uh, yeah, there are still things to do in post-game, but post... 
I'm not gonna like stream literally everything that I need to do in post game. For example, uh, me collecting most of the Pokemon for the Pokedex and my living decks. I'm not gonna show that off, or well, maybe I will, but I'm mostly gonna do that off stream. But catching legendaries and other Pokemon that are still like fairly new will definitely. Oh wait, it's added to the party. That's not what we want. We'll definitely stream that. Plus, we got quite a lot of time left before the next game. So we're mostly gonna do some shiny hunting on stream as well. Hey, over here! With that being said, uh, I've read that the credits plays the song of Ed Sheeran. So uh, before the credits actually start rolling, I need to turn off the audio of the game. Because uh, Ed Sheeran's music will get copyrighted and I cannot uh, fucking uh, skip through that. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so research could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea, what folks call Area Zero. Start taking down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know what Poke that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Coridon was born or something like that. Maybe I'll be happy that it can finally come back home. I don't really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. And guess who our teammates are? In case it wasn't obvious enough, it's named Mona and Penny. I mean, he technically spoiled that already by saying we needed a champion, strong trainer, and a hacker. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Hola, Jordi. Urban said there's tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard, she got... Did she get to battle on some Pokemon? She was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the Academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get in battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? Where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it's weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. But why? I... I turned them on. Benny! Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess... my name's Penny. Well, hey, we've never actually got to talk. I'm Nemona, I'm in class 1A. There must be some kind of tech whiz. You like Pokemon battling too? Uh, you talk, like, way too much. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyways, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Yordi. Not really in, uh, the adventuring type, but I owe you, Yordi, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course everyone knows me, Arvin! My love includes my thief and cooking and... Biometric identification in process. Hello, Yordi. I have been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my mom. Probably. What? That's Professor Sada. Mimona, student ID at number 85C001. And Penny, student ID at 803B121. Thank you for coming. 
Oh, of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, did you uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the Great Crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see on your right. Uh, Mom. Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Never have been. Feel bad for Arvin. Biometric identification in progress, identity is confirmed. Access granted to the lower level. It opened for us automatically. Not quite. It looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above Area Zero. Yordi, you have brought Koridon with you, yes. Thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Corella Rhydon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there, like, an elevator or something? And... Wait, did you say Corridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is eventful. Uneventful. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. Can't wait to see what Pokémon live down in Area Zero. Let's go! That girl, is she, like, incapable of fear or what? Guess we better go, too. Oh, wrong button. Time to go! You already ready for the worst? Hell yeah, bro. Good, that's all we need to hear. Get that Pokémon of yours out and we'll be off. Can Coridon even fly with this many Pokémon on its back? What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder! No need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Get on! We're gonna fall flat on our face, aren't we? Whee! I was about to say, how the fuck are we even gonna fit on with uh, all of us? Nice cutscene, though. <sighs> this place looks great. So, you know how I usually run around capturing every Pokémon and, uh... And now I'm back here again. <laughs> I think I might have died once or twice there. It's okay, bud. Yeah! He's really kind of scared. Chose to go back into his ball. It's probably just hungry or something. Or scared. In a second. Where's to the council girl? She went off to go fight strong Pokemon, obviously. Oh, she's gone. You think, don't you think she... Everyone, you have to see this! Area Zero is amazing! Of course. Come on already! 
Guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four human and humans identified conditions. Satisfactory. Vital sickness all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Yeah, sure, smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about landing like that? That is good. I had concerns you might fail given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm. I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Uh, are you worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to me at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do as you make. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into the lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? She's way too excited. Come on, time to find out. No, find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Yeah, so usually I run around, explore everything, and grab everything. Okay, we want that. Jordy, what were you saying again? Oh, I can actually not write or I don't. Ah, it feels kind of bad. I need to wait at least until... Whenever. Uh, yeah. So, um... I'm gonna try and not to do that much. We're also gonna try and avoid... As many of the Paradox Pokémon. Because I want to keep that for another time. When uh, it's easier for me to actually go and try and catch that. You know who I'm actually going to take along? Seeing as he's technically a new Pokémon. Technically speaking, a new Pokémon. We're going to bring uh, our evolved... King Gambit along. Might make it a little bit easier for me to actually capture if I see a Pokémon that I don't want to deal with later. Oh crap, dirty, come on. What the heck is that? Is that a Corviknight? I need two Giraffarix. One to evolve, and the other one to uh, keep for the living decks. If it just goes the way I want to. It's not going to go the way I want to, is it? Psychic doesn't affect King Gambit. King Gambit, actually. Uh, false swipe. I guess it only has Psychic. Nice. Now don't do anything dumb like doing a recoil move. Okay, nice. Rydon actually being sky scared is kind of surprising. So intense. Let's say that again. Well, you'd never be able to get in here. Where's Rydon? Go. Seems like he got spooked by something hitting the ball. And Serio? That's not good. Can we even get back up to the surface without it? Ah, uh, it should be alright. Last time I was here, I 
call the flight taxi out of the crater. We just call the Professor if she's down here. All of your bips, business bipsqueak. Um, can you uh, not just try and fight me, Jirafric? But it failed. Wait, what? Oh, wait, it's something else. I do like King Gambit, he's kind of cool. Did I catch a Metachem yet? I called a Metatype. Well, a Metachem. Jordi, what were you saying again before we actually entered this place? We were not gonna do what we're doing right now. <laughs> so why are you doing what you weren't supposed to be doing? Uh, I don't know. Not smart. <laughs> okay, Medicham, just go into the quick ball, pretty please. Be nice to me. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna keep on moving. I'm not, I'm not, no, we're not. Bad, Yordi, bad. We're just gonna go move forwards and not do whatever the fuck is that your brain is telling you to do right now. Already caught so many. It outsped and used bounds. Now I'm pissed. I'm just pissed. <laughs> okay, we're moving along the path like Jordy said he was gonna do. Elixir. So sad that we can't call for Rhydon, because he's scared. Look at these motherfuckers just running like it's nobody's bloody business. Yeah, that is a Corviknight. Nice. Wait. No, these are, yeah, these are just regular Corviknights, right? Good to know that means I can catch one easily here without having to level up one of my uh, pip squeaks. Right, you. So Penny, how'd you wind up friends with Yordi? Uh, well, I guess he just really came through for me. I was going off real, school was a mess, friendships, well, well, Yordi was a big help getting all that sorted out. So he helped you out too while he was taking all the gyms? About you then, Nimona. I, our classmates, neighbors back too. Plus, I said he should aim to be champion. Wait, what? That's wild. Jesse. Well, right there, you two. You think you've got cool friendship, Morgan? Or nothing compared to what me and him went through? Nobody asks you, stop trying to flex on us. <laughs> Guess we're all in buds with your <laughs> fucking hell. Obviously you are killing this Chansey, right? Never leave a Chansey left alive. Way too much XP to not grab. Damn, I do miss having not having Corv uh, right on with me right now. We're so fucking slow. Rare bone. Flare blitz. That's a nice move.
Citrus Berry. Can we jump? No. Shame, you already likes jumping off cliffs with super parachutes. Saves me trying to have to catch it and find it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's an Espion in. Uh, where's that area called again? Where we can get the. Damn it. The armor set for evolution. The armor evolution. In. I think I'm gonna set up a few sword stances. Future sight doesn't affect me. At least shouldn't. And one sword stance should be enough. Espion is not that physically bulky. But it failed. <laughs> Power swap. Oh, cringe. Doesn't affect Kin Gambit. Uh, what was I saying again? That only leaves Umbreon, and I do know where to get Umbreon. At least I feel like it spawns fairly frequently in that cave. Oh yeah, I forgot that I... Oh no, I do have... Six Pokemon in my team right now. It's only Umbreon left. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the Professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what are they called? Radish rations? Research stations? Hmm, well, it's close enough. Oh, you have such a great memory, Penry. Pen Penry? Penny. As great as my common sense compared to you lava, apparently. <laughs> Shreen. Ooh. What the heck is that? That's the Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Yordi, let's take it on. Ooh, I might be able to catch this, actually. That saves me having to evolve it and catch the pre-evolution and evolve it, I mean. Oh, hmm. Um... I can't believe she actually sent out something. Can I not catch it? Fuck! Lycan Wolf uses Drill. Mona, what are you thinking? Like, let me just uh, end his fucking life in one shot. Excel Rock. Toxic Are there going to be a lot more of these rare Pokémon down here, you think? You think that was something, please? You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Oh, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. But I want the item. Limit Crystal. Dusk Zone. 
Nice. Where the fuck did you, saw you guys suddenly come from? Haha! -ha. Oh, there was another item there. And another item there. Items! Whoa. Are these ancient runes? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached the first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way to station... As a way to... As a way station for those surveying the Area Zero. So that's why there is a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Dirty, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using the central panel. Lock disabled. Three of the four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your effort at the remaining at the remaining research stations. You want to lie down and rest? Yes. No. Baby. Okay, the entire team is full health again. Okay, now we can actually teleport up and down. At least a little bit. Let me. Almost never saw my mom. Penny. Shh. She was always busy with work. Hardly ever came home. Cooked for myself, cleaned for myself, and Gosef was the only one there. So yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she's my mom. I was trying to read Arfin's talk, you know, and you just come in here. Think you can. Just fight me like that? Tell him, Flame. Seen her for ages now, unless you count. We're gonna try and capture Talon Flame, obviously. I do have to watch out that I don't get instantly cocked by a fucking uh, flame charge or something. Nice. Used to at least get emails sometimes, but even those stopped a couple of years, and then there she appears out of the blue. Some family, right? Oh, but we're not here to judge or anything. Sorry about earlier, I shouldn't have snapped at you. Nah, it was also giving you a hard time. Sorry. Penny. Penny's my name. You know, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. Don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you two. Arvin still calls me little buddy. I hate that. Corviknight, stay the fuck nearby so I can try and catch you. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. I'm not such a dope ass Pokemon. Thanks. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't run into any Paradox Pokémon yet. But maybe we won't run into any Paradox Pokémon until we reach the bottom. At least for pre-post game. You know, I think I forgot to kill a Chansey. 
Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my mom. Got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I've never seen before. Okay, Pokemon wasn't, wasn't even like Pokemon, more like a crazy violent rampaging sort of like. It wasn't just Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, rampagey than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was like a completely different creature all along. And Turp and Bosey real bad. It's, I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. Is that strong, huh? I really hope I can see it! Of course you do! You're really tactless, tactless sometimes, Nemora. You don't have to go back up. The view of this crater is super great. Now, if only it wouldn't be so low FPS. Oh, look! The evolution is actually here to catch! Should I go try and catch the evolution? Yes, Jordi. Yes, you should. Ooh, let's just head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> Whew, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. <laughs> hey, look, a Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokémon down here. That is not a Jigglypuff. Cool. Oh my gosh, so cute. That is not a Jigglypuff. Poo? Poo what the? Whoa! Yordi, it's battle time. Ahem. Ahem. King Gambit. Yeah, we can't actually catch them yet. Scream Tail! Boom! Boom, baby, boom, baby. Embryon avoided the attack. Good job, Embryon. Does Brick Break work? It seems like it's a fairy type, but dark type, sh no, not a fairy type. Uh, maybe it is very type. This play rough. Super effective. Dark poles should not be. No. Scream tail fainted. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. No more jump scares like that, and I'm, one more jump scare like that I'm done for. <laughs> we're Penny. But sorry, Penny, we're not heading inside yet! Because we want to catch the new Jurafric evolution. Fairy Graph, as it's so called. Maybe I'm lucky. Boom! Go, Gigi Sama! My speakers are standing too loud. Normal psychic. It's a Raichu that I saw. It was like, what the fuck am I looking at? Of course we gotta look behind the building. It's the one place Pokemon always decides to hide items. See, Quiet Mint.
Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. No, I don't have any other snacks. Hey, seriously? What was... What's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe the Pokemon was one of these. Uh, what's that book? As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon and thought we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered of suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us re to retreat for the time. Monsters of Area Zero, a member of our survey team captured this photo. Graph. By chance, I noticed by passing reset. A passing resemblance to Pokemon known as Dunfin, yet different such as its sheer size and shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Monsters of Rhea Zero? So they aren't actual Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think? I think they really are just Pokemon. Same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves and battle just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose it's time, the time has come for an explanation. I want all the chocolate on my birthday. Professor, some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokémon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokémon? What? That's awesome. Come on, there's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I'm located contains Time Machine. It summons the ancient Pokémon to this place. So the thing Mom spent forever researching down there, she's actually got it working. Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine, you mean you can actually travel to and pa from the past? It's theoretically possible to travel to the past, however, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvinai. If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Jordi, please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Lab, not lab. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Jordi. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or likely everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. You obtained the Scarlet Book. A record of the expedition that the Altar Heath went on within the great creator of Paldea. The book has the name Sada within, written on it in clumsy handwriting. Take good care of it for me, okay? Uh, we can move further, I don't need to rest up. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that he's famous, and I guess I looked into him for my own research too. Nimona's actually some pampered little princess with a rich family. No, no way. That's not my thing, though. Yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were like hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take business, so wait. You call them mother and father? That is some pretty pattern. Ah, Kalate! Penny! What is your family like? My my family is unbelievably annoying. Like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud, clingy, man. I can't even read this fast, yo. He's the worst. Corviknight, I'm not here to fight you. I was... I used to want... Ca
dad having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Dirty, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. You met her? Yep. Got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made. Really? Wish I could see that. It's good to know that this place is filled up with uh, fully evolved Pokemon. Guys, why are you not telling me? Yordi, stop running around looking for loot. <laughs> do I have to do all the hard work myself? Kidding, just kidding. My old mint Vaporeum. Chensi, Chensi must die. Die, Chensi, die. I don't think I'm supposed to bed go in here, but honestly, do I really care? You know what, maybe I should go back. This is a huge cave. If I had Poridon with me, this would have been so much chiller. Into a dino here. A Zwyalus, I mean. Let's see if we can easily capture one. Nope. Did I just get hit by him? Brick break. He's pretty slammy. Not very effective. Well, I got happy birthday wishes. Didn't even get anything for birthday presents. Rude. Uh, let's see what King Gambit. Psychic terrain. Let's 
Saj. Okay, this is a dead end. Hit you there, King Gambit. <laughs> the Pokemon is in the middle of the fucking wall, yo. There are so many chances here. I bet if I sit down here and use a normal thing, we can find a shit ton of chances and uh, blissies. The music here is really mysterious as well. Feels out of a fucking fine fancy game. Don't you agree, SQ? Careful, mint. All right, another research station. I was about to say, are we not battling another Pokemon? Nice, we get to chill for a minute. SQ what? SQ needs to agree with me that this music sounds kind of fancy, fancy like something's gonna jump out at, at us again, 100% guaranteed. Haha, <laughs> Penny, you're such a worry wart. Huh. The dawn. See, see. Wait a sec. This is just like the Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along. Well, you battled one of these before, Arvin. Looks seriously strong. Yeah. Well, Jordi and I had a lot of pros, and I are all pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Intimidates the Mobus Thief. Um, sword Dance. It's not all. I ain't mean, carrying anything, bro. Super effective. Because it's fighting type. Break, break, stomping tantrum. That's not so great. Super effective. The Great Tusk has fainted. See that? Victory is ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our create get together jealous uh, if we've got things from literal ancient times roaming around Paldea that's a major problem is Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control Did she let this happen yeah right because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up come on Yuri let's get into that research station
I feel sad for Arvin. Poor Arvin. <laughs> and made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Benny? Mm -mm. Oh no, it's not that. Just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? You're right. Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of given off ancient vibes, even its noun name sounds pasty. Wait a sec. I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin! You had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? You still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everyone's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then, but to tell you what I know. That Pokémon, Coridon, that is. It was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Professor! Coridon, which I entrusted to Yordi, was the first Pokémon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the Time Machine. Seriously? Through analyzing of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Silizar, the Pokémon still commonly written in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokémon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimen, uh, two specimens of Corundum. Uh, you mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero. Wait, waiting to finally be reunited with our, our Corundum, right on a heartwarming family reunion. Okay, so this is why uh, a drive, I think someone else was like you can use your extra core item to send that for the other legendary which i didn't understand at first but there is another one we can capture exactly imagine how thrilling they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time family huh yeah that sounds nice if we could proceed yordi please disable the next lock using the central panel there Crushing bugs. Well done. Only one remains. Please continue to the final research station. Wonder if I'll run into any other fun Pokemon! That I can catch. Coridon's an ancient Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Yordi, you've got to let me battle Coridon right now. I mean, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. <laughs> that was the first I heard of its coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home all of a sudden one day. They all lived together at the Lighthouse Lab for a little while. My mom made me promise to keep it a secret, and I had to take care of it. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but the one day Corundion just went nuts. You people... Ooh, look, 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 all the Pokémon that I still need! A <laughs> little bit aggressive there, Yodu. Let's see, what level is this thing? It's 57. I haven't been able to kill anything so far in one hit. Ah, nice. We have nothing to worry about. Also, is it just me or does that one look a lot darker blue? Is that a shiny? Is that a fucking shiny of the boys? Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, thanks. 
Okay, now just be a good boy and get in the fucking Pokeball ASAP. Three. Thanks. Okay, now before we continue... Do. Once that happened, I guess that makes sense if it's a Pokemon from a different age. Yeah, people found out that it would be all over the news. Didn't see my mom crying again after that for ages. Back on it seemed stupid, but it felt like I'd lost my mom because of Coridon. Just hate Coridon and everything about it. Didn't want to even talk about it. I'm sorry for not telling you what I knew. You should be sorry. Shoot. That's like the coolest thing. <sighs> yep, sure would have been great to know all that relative. Dang, you guys. Harsh. Okay, listen. I know we're talking here. But Jordi's gonna turn off uh, autosave real quick. And then he's gonna save. Because he looks different than. This one looks fucking. Oh. Never mind, they both look the same. I take it back. <laughs> Unless only two shinies spawned in a row. He's just dark, probably because of the cave, right? That's the reason why. Like that. Power gem. Oh, that sucks. Toxic debris. Bloody hell. Of armor is that only special defense? Uh, yikes. Let me do one sword dance. Because the damage is way too low. Now it's even lower. I think you guys like dark places, right? So Dust Ball should work. One. Ultra Ball. Oh, nice. Critical catch. Save. just have to catch the pre-evolution now which we have seen before but I couldn't capture it because I'm a dumbass It'd be nice if we would run into one here dino and uh, whatever evolution the final station. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere waiting for us. That's fine. Totally fine. Alright team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down there, like stories say. Yeah, this place like something from a whole other world. 
makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's keep moving. We got to go all the way down. Penny... Oh, wait. Penny didn't go to school. <laughs> That's the thing. Penny didn't pay attention in class. Ooh, this is the actual first time we see a... Oh, look. The Miss Drevis, uh one as well. Ooh, Gibble and Gabite. Did I ever catch the Gibbles and the Gabites? I know where there is a Garchomp easy to grab. No, we did not. Uh, yeah, we're not catching the Paradox Pokemon yet. Nice. Not yet. Just me, or did that Gabite look really weird all of a sudden? Dang it. Dragon Claw! This attack never misses. Smash. Just hope that I don't kill it. Good. I mean, I could always go to the place where they where I found one that was lower level. Thanks. Did I just see a Blissey there? Did I just see a Blissey in the corner of my eye? Gabite's cave Pokemon. Only one left is Garchomp. I mean, I could catch just one of these and then just put one level on them. Should I... Let's try one quick ball. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't work. And then we're continuing forward. Ha! I mean, two levels because it's a gibble. Oh no, that was just another one of these, uh... Paradox Pokemon. But yeah, like I said, we're coming back to catch the Paradox Pokemon later. So Coridon came to our age and then lived here a while with the Professor along with another one of its kind. That seems to be the story. So he brought it back home, kind of, or to its second home. This place should be familiar to it, sure. It's great. Chance to unwind and bask in familiar familiarity. Doesn't jibe. Blah blah blah. Eager to get out of its ball anytime soon, really. I was scared because we were up so high. Who said it was scared of heights? It wasn't scared of heights. It was you know Corrin like an early, I think bad happened something to get you all shaky just was the same for me when I was being ignored. Made me want to hide. Oh Penny. So maybe it's just got hurt in here in Area Zero, just like Melosi. Listen, we want the Dundun sparse. Then we can try and hunt a lot of Dunsparses and try to see if we can uh, get the triple uh, the body parts Dunsparse. Dunsparse uses Endeavor. Doesn't affect King Gambit. At some point, at least. Because there's a 1 in 30 or 25% chance that it gets the third. Oh, I can't actually weaken this one, because he'll hit me with a fucking, uh... 
or at least not too much. If it hits with a recoil move, I'm kind of boned. Segmented form. Still need to catch a Grimer and a Muck. So I think it's possible. But so sad, we gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I. S At least you said it's not one of us. Jiggly, that fucking uh, screen tail or whatever it's called is fucking huge. Oh, look, there's the little ones. See, I told you I was looking for those. Hey, free Terror Blast. I would have, that it would be super chill if I'd found the little guys. Not very effective. This thing is fucking strong, though. The limits. Oh, hi, uh, whatever your name, Mistrevis thing is. You're uh, not spoopy at all, suddenly appearing behind me. Uh, I'm gonna switch Pokemon real quick. It would be very nice if we didn't lose King Gambit before the end. Uh, Brutal Swing gonna kill? Just like oh no. These things have fucking shit ton of defense, yo. Okay, good. Don't have to worry about Toxic Debris. I do keep saying that this is a really cool area. Sludge wave. What is this bad luck? What is this bad luck? Fucking Misdreavous Paradox version behind me is n ridiculously creepy when it's looking, when it's standing there behind me like that. Let's run! Bitch, run! Should probably heal up Almighty and King Gambit, King Gambit, King Ambit. It's good to know that these are fairly easy to capture.
Whoopee! Whoopty doopty! I don't remember if I ever called it a trio. Pretty sure I called a regular Diglett. Let's see. Yeah, apparently not. I go to sleep now. SQ, sleep well. Talk to you next time. Super effective. That's not really great. Special defense fell. That's also not very great. Defiance, insane. Let's try this. Uh, ah! Yeah, Mudar. <sighs> go to cleave. Sap, sleep well. Sap, sleep well. Bye. Goodbye. Sayonara. Yeah, let's try Colton Cleave again. Don't die to Earth Power. Holy shit, I almost died to Earth Power. Ah, and I killed the fucking Dugtrio. Now be sure to be nice to SQ, Sep. Oh, what happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Ah, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Is everything here all busted up? Sorry. Hello, children. Come again. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello, children. Hello, hello, hello. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, children, 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 children. Initiating restart. Professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? I want to hear yo! Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. She meant this joke wasn't funny. Still get goosebumps and all. <laughs> Professor Sada is not here. Ah ha ha, hello, can you hear me? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. It's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Sada's a robot. <laughs> that or uh, an alien. It's definitely not the Professor Sada that used to be. That was definitely something off about that Professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed up. That got you jazzed. Maybe even big time jazzed. Let's go see a doctor. Say, I'm pretty sure that call was really... The trio get in the ball. Well, that's good to know that the fucking uh, crazy eyes is right in my ass. Can't believe this duck trio didn't even flinch at this quick ball. Fucking hell. Okay, listen, duck trio. If you think I'm just gonna take that, you're wrong. Guess we're just gonna take that. Fucking arena trap. 
Bicep. Good night. Um, false white. He's Fisher. It's unaffected. Can't believe this motherfucker is trying to fucking use a one-hit KO move on my ass. Did the trio get in the fucking ball? How are you not getting in the ball? <laughs> like, seriously. You're not even wiggling. <sighs> Earthquake, full sake. Oh, how is still life? Just trying to catch you, Dr. Yo. Listen, if the trio uses one earthquake, I'm dead. Earth power. Yeah, that doesn't do that much damage. Ultra Ball, let's go. Fissure. Yeah, he shouldn't be able to hit me with Fissure because I'm higher level than him. Let's try Timer Bolt. What is with these Doug Trio, yo? Used the wrong attack, uh, wrong um, wins. More wrong potion. But this should be fine. Tank the dig. Throw a timer ball. Jesus Christ. The amount of effort I put in, yo. Now we instantly go into the fight with the scream thingy. So we might as well attempt to catch it with quick ball. Scream tail. Psychic Fangs. Hyper Wounds. Play Rough. I'm actually surprised that I don't have a Steel-type attack with uh, this guy. Try not to roll. Oh, I got a critical catch. Nice. Oh man, I needed to go to the toilets all of a sudden. All of the sudden. Why oh, I didn't expect. No, never mind. It's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kind of down. No matter how you turn... I'm counting on you, Yordi. Sure. Leave it to me. I think we go this way, right? Yeah. I'll leave the items over there for another time. And I can move faster. Oh, 
apparently this is not the way. Thick. I might as well try and catch the second one. So that we can paradox trade it! That was a critical capture. I fucking love it. Any who's this one? Screen tail is shiny huntable. Oh, I need to be so bad. <laughs> Dark Terra Shard. I wonder if it has similar colors to Shiny Jigglypuff, only its eyes are a different color. Wait. Are you saying you're shiny? Is that this one is shiny? I was about to say. Any items? Nope. <sighs> More fucking duck trios. Almost a thousand XP for an auto battle is not bad. I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised they make you walk this way without Koridon. I mean, we've been spamming Koridon all this time. Now we suddenly can't use him. It feels so slow. Entirely engulfed in the fucking crystals. If have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see those legends of treasure down here are for real? <laughs> yeah, right. It's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Ro to 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 to. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is zero. It's the zero lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? Wait, why does it look like the whole place is swallowed up by the crystal? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It's the same energy that allows Pokémon to rustalize. So the entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. Professor implies something important about the Terra Orbs just now. They are made from the crystal down here in Area Zero, aren't they? You already knew that, indeed. Though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gates to Lab Zero should now be open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with dangerous Pokémon inside. They will likely make a break f for freedom. It's dangerous Pokémon. Four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You got me and Yordi here, it doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. 
<laughs> well then, that puts my worries to rest. Are we gonna do a free battle uh, trial thingy with a lot of uh, crazy ass Pokemon? Yes. Hold it. Huh? Why? We're finally at the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Coridon help? Yeah, if Coridon were like how he f first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted us to let it ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't end towards better form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found, too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. Maria Zero is where it used to live. If we bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family, too, right? It's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. I don't know. Go on, Yordi. Let's go right on out. Sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, come on, Yordi. Now we've got the right on ready, it's time to open the gate. I don't think he'd be happy about that, to be fair. Ooh, there's the uh, other Coridon. Reunion, it's happening. Whoa, no way. This doesn't seem very happy. No, something's not right. Actually went inside. Oh, our Coridon is so cute compared to that one. What's wrong? You bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so short. Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We're this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Look at Coridon, poor thing is terrified. Guess the other one isn't exactly his pal. Yeah, the other Pokemon was giving off some really bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry about it, any of that. Once we get you back into the battle form, I'm sure I'll, you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, if you want to. Thank you. Sorry, guess that shouldn't doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that Pokemon that other Coridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us about? To watch out for? But didn't the Professor say the Pokemon would come out from out from the inside? You mean from inside the gate we just Oh here they are Rumble 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 <laughs> <laughs> What the We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not really to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. Don't tell me. They're all ancient Pokemon. Got a little dis uh, disaster on our hands here. Ooh. Even fellow was ready to bail. I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Yordi. Let's do this together. Can I catch them this time? Nope. Brick break. What level is that thing anyways? Real run. That 
didn't do much. <laughs> like and rock got ass in Terio. Ass whooped. King Gambit uses Brick Break. Yeah, we're swapping Pokemon here. King Gambit is not going to be uh, able to uh, support any of this. The Almighty is coming to the rescue. Something Tantrum. Water. Let's just hit it with... Oh shit, I'm hitting Udra as well. It's not very effective on Great Tusk. Critical hit on the Great Tusk. Great Tusk fainted. Oh, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. Glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Grass, grass. Why are they coming at me? Pretty help me out here. Brute Bonette. Let's see how much Dark Pulse does. Holy shit! This is trash! It does nothing whatsoever! <laughs> um, hmm. Let's use our uh, big boy dragon. Bucks Calibard. Dark Balls. Use trash. Wouldn't be surprised if it actually was a normal pipe. Confused. Maybe the wise. itself in confusion. The fact that it's faster than my back Excalibur is kind of cringe. Embryo needs quick attack. Good. 4.2k, Jesus. Ancient past must have been terrifying. <laughs> No, they're running away. Yeah, and if those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess at our hands. We're gonna we gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Wait! Hold on, Nimona, why do I get to the feeling you're enjoying all of this? The two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the law a strong looking one first. It's not that strong looking. I wonder what its typing is exactly. I doubt it's pure ghost. Intimidate. Flutter main. I find these names incredibly funny though. Shabubal. Not very effective. The strong looking one and we fucking cuff its ass so easily. The other ones were way stronger. See, the power of friendship has us perfectly in sync, all thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face the other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. Stragglers should be nothing. Me and Boastiff can take care of them. So Yordi, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Got it. <laughs> Glad to see you've got some faith in us at last. My boastiff can't wait to battle either. Right on. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared uh, that your wits makes me feel any better about it. 
you've got amazing powers if you just use them. And you've got us too, so 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 don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave, stand up, and fight. Everyone is already leveled up again. Be brave, stand up, and fight. I wonder if we can actually catch it. That would be nice. Oh, so there's Professor Sada. Human presence detected within Zero Lab. She's not the real Sada, though. Deactivating sleep mode. She really is a robot. Hello, Yordi. Thank you for coming. Roar! No. Back to your ball. In a fucking master ball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Koridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. Err. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. Then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. The incident? The professor was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for Koridon to survive and thrive. That's why she threw herself in front of your Koridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Cavill and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Yordi, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at Zero Lab and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our, way, uh, our, make our descent. Follow me. <laughs> Fucking not surprised that she's dead. <sighs> what the hell? Booster energy and item held by Pokemon with certain ability. Sorry. What is that? Booster energy? An item to be held by Pokemon with certain abilities. The energy that fills this capsule boosts the strength of the Pokemon. Okay, is that supposed to boost the power of uh, Coridon or something? This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Yordi, it is truly a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? An AI is artificial intelligence created by a human being. The computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such sophisticated AI at present, but the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What happened to the professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received previous injuries that left it unable to stay in life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son Arvin to accept. I now manage Serial Lab in its original professor's place. Is there anything else? What is this time machine? 
Time Machine is a device that the original professor, professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to different points on the timeline to catch Poke there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. What you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony, but these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal, primal energy of the ancient past, and this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokémon from escaping into the rest of Peldia. But we've begun to see Pokémon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampart across Peldia region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Peldia will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a strategy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Yordi, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream site I once cherished. Very well. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. Holy shit. This is the time machine, behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenal phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you need to use the Professor's idea, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the sacred book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the time machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat. Anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analyzing of all the battles carried out by the various champions of Peldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokémon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Sac Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. Okay guys, this is the final battle. ID confirmed, Professor Seda. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait, please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Yordi. AI Seda switching to sleep mode, activating offensive protocols. Please defeat me. This is one epic scenario, though. At at last, at last, my dream is within reach, and you're not getting away. Wow, she suddenly looks incredibly creepy. AI Seda has initiated a battle. Send out 
slithering wing, King Gambit. Are you fire bug type? I don't know what typing you are. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get away with my goods. Okay, let's start with, uh... Okay, your bug. Holy shit, that still did a lot of damage. This is the power of the ancient the ancient past hold. Splendid, isn't it? Sword dance. Bro, I'm not too sure about that, yo. Low sweep. You imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Well, I can, if I try hard enough. Um, hmm. Bug type attacks. Fighting type attacks. Let's go into Scoop here, shall we? Uh, let's start with Phantom Force. Spook vanishes immediately. Use Zen Headbutt. Yeah, that was a good choice. Was that actually super effective? Lunge, it's not too bad. I still don't really know the typing. Phantom Forcing again should put us through a win. So two bug attacks, one psychic, and one fighting type. This is an interest. Slippering Wing is an interesting Pokemon. Flutter Main. Yeah, we can stay in there. That's the Ghost type. Since we fall at one. Oh crap. You can handle this spook. It's actually faster than me, that's super cringe. Vanishes immediately. Letter main uses Shadow Ball. Spook avoided the attack. Uses Phantom Force. Good job, Spook, that's what we like to see. Now, this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? Well, if I use my uh, brain well enough, then yes. Uh, I don't brute bonnet. Oh, that's this guy. I still don't really know what its typing is. Play rough, I guess. It's gonna work on it. Payback. Yeah, Spook is dead. This is the last battle anyway, so everyone dying will be revived after the credits. At least I think this is the last battle. So if we figure out that this is not the last battle, then um, we're kind of fucked. Play it rough. I didn't actually know if we could uh, swap into something Sandy Socks. If we could swap into something safely, to be fair. Okay, this is... Not very effective. Earth power, that is not great. Holy shit. Um, steel type and electric type. Probably also some ground in there, right? Excalibur. Earth power, I don't know. Okay, we can hold out against that. <sighs> Dragon Claw, right? Good. Sandy Shulk's fainted. So now come Screamtail. Screamtail is most likely fairy. 
I didn't pay attention to when I copped two of them, what type she was, or it was. Yeah, fairy type. Uh, we're going into um, my boyo here. My shiny boyo. Rafai, I, I. Use play rough. Graphite, I, I avoided the attack. GG, brother. Gunk shot. Oh, bollocks. Zen headbutt. Oh, bollocks. Come on, Graphite, I, I, you can't go missing your gunk shot. Twice? Oh, bro, what the hell? Missing it twice. Oh. There goes our shiny. Get on hammer. Shit clean. Boom. Boring moon. Don't know what that is. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Fuck you. Roaring moon. Oh, that is, uh, yeah, you were dope, yo. The Salamence. Whose energy was used up? Prothosensis. Moon's attack was heightened. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna terrestrialize and play rough. If it's faster than me, I'm kind of bones, but I think I'm fine. And otherwise, we still have uh, Brax, who is slower, but should be able to uh, handle this. Okay, Roaring Moon is defeated. The opposing Roaring Moon fainted. Impossible! Not really. Jordy! What is this? Do you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. The time machine is finally... She has finally been stopped. You're n really not my mom, are you? Look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry, you were alone so long, Arvin. Mom? Security system failure, security system failure. Threat to the time machine detected, threat to the time machine detected. Whoa, 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 what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. There was another defense mechanism. <laughs> An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Like fading paradise protocol, pro protection protocol. Move up. What was keeping the time machine running truly? Blocking all Pokeballs except those registers to Seda's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing. Get her terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI say that disabled paradise protection protocol initiated. Fuck is this? The last master ball. Right on face, right on. You are not getting in my way. You're challenged by paradise protection protocol. 
Send out Koraidon. King Gambit can't come out. <laughs> or Calicum Pulse. Opposing Koridon turns Recalcum Bast in Sunlight, sending the Ancient Pulse into a frenzy. Terra Blast, Collision Cores, Flamethrower. Let me see what everything does. User transforms and crash to the ground, causing a massive prehistoric explosion. This move's power is boosted more than usual if it's super effective hit. If the user is terrestrialized, energy of its attack titan now. Endure. Flamethrower. Okay, sure, let's see who's this. Bridle uses Taunt. Okay, it has a different moveset than mine. What level is my Bridle, anyways? Change it to its battle form. Let's go, Bridle, you got this! 68. Flamethrower! You will fall here within the Garden Paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Use this Flamethrower. Hey, I was using Flamethrower, butthole. Wow, that did nothing. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be exterminated. Use this bulk up. Lame! I want to use Bulk Up! This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there, Yordi. Right on! Can I just Terra Blast? The data says I am superior. Fall and become the foundation upon which my dream will be built. He got impact. Holy shit, bro! Go right on tough and through it so you wouldn't be sad. That did literally nothing. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Coridon's attack sharply rose. Uh, yeah, let me uh, use a bag and heal up, because... <laughs> I don't know if we can actually lose this fight, but... I have kind of a bad feeling. Giga Impact shouldn't... Yeah, he needs to recharge, which is good. Man, can we really not pull off a win here? That doesn't look good. Hey, Yordi, your Terra Orb's glowing. Yordi, go right on terrestrialize and finish this off. Attack Rose. Defense Rose. Special attack Rose. Special defense Rose. Speed Rose. Dragon. Terra Blast! 
does his flamethrower! Show him you won't be pushed around. Time to terrestrialize and get it some super effective hits. Terra Blast! Rhydon fainted. Now it's truly over. You defeated the Paradise Protocol Protection Protocol. Blah, 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 blah. My game crash. You did it! It's it's not going berserk anymore. How how very astonishing. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to need to be done. No matter how difficult your past may have been, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever path you choose for yourselves, now with pride. I thank you, Yordi. I thank all of you children. But I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to complete stop so long as I'm here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. What does that mean? I'm sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. The way that you came together working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to do better yourself, throwing all you are into battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all on your own. Ah, and the way you soared free through the very sky on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be free as you all, free to seek out which I might treasure, above all else, not bound, your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine for a journey to the world of ancient past that I've dreamed of. What? You can just leave now, right when we finally reach you. I'm not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. This is what it feels like to have your heart race with thrill of adventure. Arvin, I'm sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, so... And so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You... you can't... you can't just go and say a thing like that now. No. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Arvin, Koridon, Yordi. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Mom! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Oh, SQ misses the I bid you adieu moment. This is so sad. Oh, could you just go? Mom. Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somehow deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was a fake, but it... It said my name using her voice and wearing her face. Even if it was fake, it... It felt real, you know? And so I... just... I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's... that's okay. Yeah! 
guess Coraidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong! If it tries to nudge at me for belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Yordi and Coraidon just saved all of Paldia. That's right, you both did amazing. Thank you, Yordi. Thanks, Yordi. Yeah, that's my bud, Yordi, for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet she finally is having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Yordi? Let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Okay, so we gotta be sure that we don't go into the credits ASAP. Because I need to mute the sound. I can hear the sound myself, but I need to mute it for you guys. Well, that's a long time before we head into the credits. It's midnight! Game crashes if you enter the credits on midnight. That would suck so bad, by the way. Wow, this is taking ages. I definitely could have finished this sooner if I wasn't slacking off too much. Okay, everybody, listen up. What? Well, what is it? Let's take a, the long road home. I'll get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Not you too! Alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. on time. Need to put this lower as well because it definitely gonna pick up Ed's, Ed's voice. So yeah, I uh, muted sound, which makes this section kind of boring, I guess, but I don't want this part to be um, uh, copyright striked by YouTube because uh, we all know how famous Ed Sheeran is. So uh, yeah, let's talk about about what I think of the game. Let's first talk a little bit about the big issues that the game has. The the lag, the very not, uh, what is that word again? That it's not optimized whatsoever is really bad. The fact that the game lags, that the frame drops everywhere, uh, just name it. It's just really bad. The bugs, the teleportating, the... Camera angles that bug out the entire time. Very frustrating, and it's not good whatsoever. Other than that, this game is fantastic. Like, you know how I am when I'm playing open world games, right? Especially these. I go nuts. I go explore every inch and corner of the fucking map until I continue forward. The fact that I got to catch Pokemon during all of that slowed me down so massively, though. Um, but yeah, I think that the open world setting was really good. It was a little bit... Some places were a little bit too hard for me to, like, explore in a decent way. I feel... I'm pretty sure that the mountain is still not explored completely because I just... The mountain is pretty much an entire open area that just goes up. I tried to follow paths, but that's the most that I can do with the mountain. Um, after that, it's just Pokemon. It's definitely just Pokemon. The terrestrialization mechanic is not too OP. It's not stupid. 
and it's not broken either for what I can tell. I really enjoyed the terrestrialization. People can literally do whatever the fuck they want with terrestrialization now and make up new strategies for competitive. I'm not a very competitive person, obviously, so for me it's a little bit uh, hard to actually say what, what or what about that. Uh, the new Pokemon, they were great. There are some Pokemon in there that were like, uh, what the hell? Is this not just a regular animal? Those were not really that amazing for my taste. But uh, the Pokemon itself were really good. Story, the game, the, like, the setting was completely different. It was not that high tier as that it usually is, where you're the one Pokemon trainer that ends up safe in the world. So, yeah, sure, we saved Paldea, technically, but it didn't start like that. The We went to just do whatever, to follow a path to find our treasure. Now, I really like that they split the story in three parts. You do need to do everything. Do you want to get to the credits? Obviously. But you had the gym challenge, which was fairly fun. The challenges weren't that bad. The gyms were pretty decently challenging. If I was normal level, I would probably have more, uh, a lot more issues. Star, Team Star, that was really fun because that was just different. It was not an actual bad team. It was just a bunch of kids that were bullied before and they fought against the bullies and they were just misunderstood. And that's just a lot better. That feels like more in the genre of students and kids and whatever. Way better. It felt more balanced. Uh, the Titans, that was really fun. I do have to say that maybe the next time they should put the Titans in a little bit of a lower level. Because we all really want to just be able to use all the traversal abilities and not till the second last uh, gym, so to say. Because we did the last Titan right before the final Star Captain... And, uh, yeah, I don't think that was, that was just a little bit too far away from my taste. My issue, though, kind of is, thank you, treasured friends. My issue with the end, with the entire way how it's been built up, right, is a little bit that I feel bad that there isn't uh, a level cap, that there isn't level... What is that called? Not level cap, not... Uh, but the levels aren't, like, rising up. You can't just do whatever you want. You just, you have to do everything in specific order. If you don't want it to get too easy or too hard or whatever. I do find, like, we're missing that. Uh, levels, level scaling, that's what it's called. We need level scaling for an open world game like this. Especially if you're getting given the choice to do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, level scaling would be best, and that's just something that I lacked. The characters are great. The expressions, the animations, everything, like, uh, except for the battle animations, we're not going to talk about that because they are, they're just the way that they are always. Uh, but the facial animations, the expressions, the gameplay, the characters, they were all great. I do have a feeling that our character is a little bit too young in the way that the teachers and the characters were, like, responding to us. Like, I feel like we're 10, 11 years old in this game, and the... Uh, our rival, for example, is... I'm pretty sure she's about 16. Arvin is around that age as well, 16, 15. Penny, maybe a bit more our age? Maybe even not? But we're definitely way younger than they are. And the teachers, like, they were way too dependent on us, and... I just got... Sometimes I just kind of got a creepy vibe from the... The way they responded to us, and the conversations we had. Uh, and yeah, we were not, like... I don't think that was the right way to write it. If we were, like, actually a little bit older for, like, if we were 16, then it would have been not as bad, because then we get that Persona vibe, right? But this was just a little bit too young. 
but I can kind of understand some of it as well. Ding ding dong dong, calling students to the director's office, Master Yordi, Nemona, Ervin, and Penny. The director Calvin would like to see you in his office. Ding dong dong ding. If you select Raiden while in the main menu is open, you can now have it change between his battle form and his right form. That's super dope. Oh, I need to be so bad. Well, let's talk at least to uh, the director and then I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. Ah, looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Yordi? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need to concern you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the ancient Pokémon from running ramparts across Baldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I could not couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. <laughs> You've got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and this precious ecosystem, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over the coals after all? Oh, before I forget, Master Yordi, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already. This one's for you. A Master Ball, how nice. The very best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you will catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. That gift is one we bestowed only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. You can count on me. Splendid! Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin, I'm so sorry to hear about the Professor. You have my deepest condolences. Ah, well... Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my mama died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. The Great Crater. I got to learn a bit about my mom's research and what she was trying to do. Chief down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine that takes priority, showing your son with attention, huh? All I know is I'm done feeling like I've lost little... I'm a lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here. Emma Boastiff, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your mother's son. Of course, I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credit to graduate. You'll need to study frank uh, frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. What? Let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your villain deeds in the Great Crater known to the public, your new champion rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, oh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously, could we not? Classic Nemona. Pokemon battle contest, you say? Well, your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nemona. I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large scale event will be quite beyond us. We've many other school activities to keep an eye on after all. Part of my intrusion, I couldn't help but over here. The Pokémon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young and upcoming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokémon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academic clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokémon among its staff. As such, I suggest it as follows. Student and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. <gasps> Whoa, we'd get to battle the teachers? You compete too, right, Primera? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as of the Pokémon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level. Whoa. Thank you for your invitation, Champion Nemona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work. I simply must attend to. Aw, did you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Yordi would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Happy to help. 
Excellent answer, much obliged, Champion Yordi. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Baldea's various gyms in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask you to bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you will find any cracks in their armor, but well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for you to first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out their inspection, I imagine they all must have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than they were f when you faced them before. You have to... You get to have all out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weakness in our lead point system. Um, there's a bunch of anime I missed that I was just gonna binge. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. Ah, I mean, I'll do it! I'll help out! Let me help! <laughs> Excellent! We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. <laughs> this is awesome, Yordi. Show this inspection thing who's boss so that La Primera can join a tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournaments in the meantime. Say it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, and Mona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Guess my role is so obvious it goes without saying. You should make snacks for everyone! You like cooking, man! You should do that! <laughs> Oh man, I gotta go to the toilet. Ugh. I've been saying this for like hours now that I need to go to the toilet. No, it's not hours. It's only after I beat the thing, so we can't really complain. Um, has anything else changed here? No, we don't want to revisit class. Fuck that shit. <sighs> oh. Okay. So, that's it for uh, pre-post-game. Guys, we are going to stream post-game stuff, obviously. I'm going to, in the meantime, improve my team, uh, grab more stuff, get money, make our team as strong as fucking possible, get working on the Pokedex, obviously the legendaries that we still need to catch, Coridon, the other Paradox ones, if... The gym leaders we need to re-challenge, and the tournaments, we're all gonna stream that. I'm just in the meantime gonna go look around, make sure that I got everything for the Pokemon. Uh, yeah, you get what I mean. Just get everything ready. And with that, I'm out. I'm gonna talk to you all next time. Good night, adios, sleep well, and sweet dreams.